Yo, what is going on, everybody? Happy Thursday. Thank you so much for being here. We have another Uthia playthrough. This time, we are going to be using Arlen. And, of course, we have Cruel Frost. Special shout-out to Steamforge Games for sending me this copy. I do truly appreciate it. Super cool of them. So far, I have been liking it. So, yeah, man, we're going to try out the other character that came in this prototype box. And that is one thing to note is that this is a prototype. So everything that you see here is subject to change. Uh, some of the artwork on like the tiles and stuff. I don't know how this guy got out there. <laughs> trying, to, trying to stack the deck. Uh, but some of the uh, artwork on these tiles is not there. Uh, there's just a word there. So uh, more art to come. More things uh, are probably going to change. But so far, I've I've been liking it. We are going to be playing the Ice Council scenario again. That's the only one that came in this prototype box. So we are going to be playing that one again. But again, like I said, we are going to be playing as Arlen. He's got some cool abilities. He can manipulate this Die of Hope, which is pretty cool. So yeah, we're going to check him out. So what is going on, everybody? Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. We got Steven in the house. All right, MK time. Oh, Steven. Steven, man, trying to stir the pot already. Don't you be bringing that in here, boy. I mean, you, the, <laughs> we got Jess in the house, hater. That's right, Jess, get him, get him. Jess coming out of the gate, throwing punches. I like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, Mike, I'm off work tomorrow, so I'm here for it. Jess, that's what's up, man. Thank you so much for being here. We got Matt in the house. Hey, all, what's up, Matt? Very cool, very cool. So, yeah, hopefully this uh this round goes a little bit better than the previous time uh with zafiri i really like her abilities and stuff but man the dice were not cooperating with me uh par for the course but i felt like especially that day it was really bad we just we were losing a bunch of combats and i just feel like once you you know, when you start that to go downhill, losing a few combats, man, it can be, it really feels like it puts you behind. But so hopefully we don't have that issue here. Uh, Arlen does have this worn scepter. Uh, he deals, uh, if we roll five to 10, we deal two damage, but we get an additional, um, we add one to our roll next uh, round, next time we hit the enemy. Uh, 11 plus, we deal three damage. He also does have this breastplate here gives us an additional health we can also use this to add one to the die of hope so very cool i do feel like in a lot of my plays i don't use this as much not because i sometimes i forget but mainly it's due to like the rolls you know i'm either just at like right over what i need when i roll dice so if i roll a two to five that's when uh, you as the player can take this up. If the monster rolls a 10 to 12, you can take this up as well. I always feel like with my rolls, I'm always like a rolling six, you know, six, seven. So it's still like a crappy roll, but you can't take this up. Or with the monster, you know, the cards are coming out. It's like nine. So it's still a high roll for them, but I can't take this up. It always feels like it's right in that spot. But anyway, um, all right. Uh, what up, Matt? Jess, how are things? Let's go. You got this, man. Sven, what's up, dude? Yeah, hopefully we can get a win tonight, dude. Thanks for uh, stopping by again, man. <laughs> I need I need all the support I can uh, I can get. Ready for some for some shenanigans? That's right. That's right. We got Matt in the house. Hey, Andrew. Hello, everyone. What's up, Matt? How's it going, man? You're all about the shenanigans. <laughs> Oh, we got Adam in the house. What's up, everyone? This game looked cool on the first crowdfunding, but I didn't pull the trigger. Well, Adam, there's a lot of stuff for this game. Um, I do like this, you know, that they're changing it up a little bit, adding these ice elements to it. And I did mention this in the last playthrough. If they continue with this game, which, you know, they might. I know there's already a lot for it already, but, you know, I can see them continuing. If they do, I do like adding these sorts of different terrain types, you know, and before, you know, there was all like it was all this grasslands, uh, which is very cool. But adding this ice world and then, you know, maybe mix in some desert landscape. I think that sort of stuff could be cool. I hope you're doing well. The forward slash was an exclamation mark. Gotcha. All right. All right. 
Storm's coming later, so I need to make my traditional Storm donuts. <laughs> Speaking of, uh, I do have, uh, not donuts, but the brew that I'm going to be drinking. I drank this, it wasn't this exact flavor, but this uh, Stees, Stees, I don't know how you pronounce this, but uh, this is uh, antioxidant brew. This is the green tea. I think I had like some sort of raspberry, blueberry thing last time, uh, but this is mint flavored. I did have this thing. I bought two um, last time I went to the store. I drank one earlier today. It was like this, uh, it had all these vitamins and stuff in there. It was actually pretty good. It was like this blood orange flavor. I was going to drink that on stream, but I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm, I want to drink this now and then I'll save this for stream. So uh, I did like this last time. So I figured let's just, let's just go with it again. The storm's here now. Gotta love it. Where are you guys at? Rufus has been trying to get me to buy this. I know he has Mike. I know. I know. <laughs> you need, there you go. There you go. Get him. Get him. You are the storm. Okay. Um, so while we are still chatting, let me start to shuffle. I already did do the uh, merchant alchemist and dragon slayer tiles. I did also do the treasure tiles. So we will have to do the map these cards. I'm not going to spend too long on this, the natural resources, and then we'll do, we'll shuffle up these scenario tiles, compass, and that should be it. Again, this scenario, we are trying to fulfill both of these gathering cards. So we have three to randomly choose. We're going to randomly choose one of these. So we have to complete whatever this says. Usually that's putting uh, our hero tokens on this. And we can do that a few ways. And then we also, once this is completed, we have to complete this one. We have a special tile up here that is our objective tile. So once that is revealed, we would then reveal this to find out what we need to do. And again, like I said, after we complete this one, then we'll need to do this one. One thing that I forgot to do last game, which it didn't change anything, was once we complete this, we are supposed... Oh, I actually did think I... Yeah, I did do it. I did draw this, right? No, I drew a card, uh, which would be a, like a special uh, objective that only you would know about. But what I forgot to do was I forgot to f place one of these tiles on one of these two hexes. And that's like a small bonus. It could be various things like maybe it's a portal or not a portal, but, you know, uh, you know, what's that? Teleportation, you know, something like that. Uh, let's see. Western Kentucky. Okay. Okay. Send. Oh, you guys are. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So you both are just finding out about this. <laughs> awesome. I, yeah. I know. <laughs> That's awesome, guys. That's super cool. That's awesome. Frodo, what's up, brother? How's it going, man? Hope you're having a good night. Oh man, this is great. I feel like you guys have spoken so many times on stream, you know, through Derek's stream, through Steve's stream, and you guys are just finding out about this. You guys are probably a member of the same Discord channels. <laughs> this is so funny. That's cool. Drinking the same, but I respect that you try a different beer. Oh, uh, Matt, this is not, this is just a, so these aren't alcoholic. These are, these are non-alcoholic. So it's, it's a little tough for me during the week, especially to, to get a drink out, especially this late. Uh, but so we're just drinking some non-alcoholic stuff. You know, we're just mixing it up. Still brews. It says antioxidant brew. So. So it's, it's fair game. It's fair game. Got to get Jess's husband to meet me by Steven with the camper so we can all go fish. There you go. There you go. <laughs> you all long lost cousins. 
<laughs> it's insane. I know. That's right. Oh, that's that's cool, man. That's cool. Look at that. Look at that. Did we just become best friends? Yup. <laughs> that's so cool. All right. These are the natural resource tiles. And then we will do, we just did those. Uh, we'll do the compass. We will do, and then we just have the board. Now, somebody did ask me on the last video, they uh, put a comment to say, can you show off all of the hero uh, skill tiles? So I told them yes, that I would still also do for Zafiri. So we will really quickly go through and take a look at these. And then we will um, finally take a look at all of uh, our ones. Yeah, Matt, occasionally. Usually it's just, I mean, honestly, it's right now, it's kind of just when I get together with uh, Tim and Matt, my buddies. That's usually the only only times I do it now. But when I, when I started the channel, like the bruise, the whole bruise thing was meant to just encompass everything. You know, coffee, you know, uh, just pretty much anything else. Uh, tea, so... Big camping train. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, I hate camping. Uh, dreams dreams crushed. <laughs> All right. Let's quickly do Zafiri. We won't talk about the starting tiles. Uh, but again, I'm just going to show these off really quick. Uh, we did look at the transmutation and charge. So we won't take a look at those. I don't know if we took a look at pulse and spark. Let me take off the, or let me put on, I should say, the zoom or the focus. Oh, it does. It already is on. That's right. Okay, so these are level twos. I'm not gonna go into them into too much detail. We got spark and pulse. If it focuses, I think it did there for a second. Uh, fours, we have storm calling and surge, and I'll put timestamps for everything. So if you want to skip past all this, I'll just go right to the gameplay. I will put timestamps. We got thunder strike and thunder sword. I was really hoping to get these last game. Very cool. Uh, for the nines, we have... Uh, two pieces of jewelry. So we can hold additional, we have additional vials to hold our charges. Twelves. And they only send up to 15. So there is going to be more skills, but they only send 15 for the prototype. We got Chain Lightning and Tempest. Come on, baby. kind of get an idea from it and then 15s we got flash and storm mace there you go bringing people together <laughs> no it wasn't <laughs> you've just gotten old and <laughs> oh man um uh, let's see. Uh, uh, we got checked out, checked outs here. Okay, I'm not buying the expanded bruise comment. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm playing a game. Yeah, surprise, surprise. <laughs> this was a get together. Yeah, man. <laughs> okay. I do love this game and uh, can't wait for the expansion. Nice. Uh, Jess, did you get the last expansion? What was it? Uh, Fierce Powers and Crawling, was it Crawling Shadows or something like that, I think. Okay. Uh, and then let's do Arlen's. So uh, we have the Worn Scepter and the Breastplate, which we just talked about. All right. Mike say I just got an old. You ain't wrong. You ain't wrong. So this is the zero. We got Monster Hunter and Offering. This is going to be a tough call for me. Uh, this Offering is going to be like a one-time benefit. Pay four coins, get two rep, and heal five. I do like that, but 
man, like to pay four coins for it. But then we have an ongoing ability, which I really like this. I find in a lot of games, I do have a lot of enemies that I kind of put in the stash after I defeat them. So you can spend one to gain two to your next roll uh, plus one damage. So I do like that. We have the twos. All in, baby. All in. That's what's up. We got uh, Guidance and Scout. Uh, these are going to be some good ones, too. That Guidance is a permanent effect. Minus one to the hero's roll. And then we can spend two Die of Hope to heal two. I think we're going to end up taking that one if I can get there. Uh, then on the fours, we have a Helmet and Ornate Shield. Shield is pretty dope. I feel like it's... Okay, so the shield, we can uh, subtract two from the monster's result, and but we also have to subtract two from our result. <laughs> I might get the core if some poor sap that desperately wants to dump theirs. Uh, Mike, why don't you just wait for the campaign? All right, just wait for the campaign. Mike will pick it up. He'll pick it up at some point. Uh, okay, these are the sixes. Treatment and Holy Scepter. There we go. That was a good focus. And the nines. Double Capacity and Intervention. That Double Capacity is pretty interesting. The twelves. We've got some more armor and a maul. And then the 15s. Adding expansion to my house to handle the extra stuff. <laughs> yeah, dude, you need it. You need it. Sacred armor and a helmet. Oh, look at that sacred armor. Minus two and minus four. Hi, friend. Steve, what's up, man? How's it going, dude? Steve's in the house. All right. Let's do the map. Uh, so we got to set off. Let's shuffle these. Actually, we need all of those. And we need three of these. <laughs> three of these, right? Yeah, three of these. All right. All right, let's see. This should be good. Three. Let's take off the top. We'll cut into it here, and we'll do one of these. Yeah, the boxes are huge. Won't be back in this one. Oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't like that, Mike, because then I got to buy those, too. Then you then you force me to purchase more. Mike's always got this game. Oh hey, yeah. You should check this one out. Check it out. I'm like, damn. It looks good. Sounds good. I get it. I end up liking it. Damn you, Mike. <laughs> My gaslight. <laughs> I use the words of uh, Ursula, porn. Yeah, that's it. That's it. All right, let's see. What do we need for this? Uh, two. We need two of these. This Steve said he's got a song stuck in his head. Yeah, I th we just showed my daughters that the other day. They They loved it, man. They loved it. Something about those classic Disney movies, man. Two. What did I say? Two? Yeah. Okay. One. Two. All right. Mike's the problem we all love. <laughs> yeah. All right. We need one of these. Dan, do you, ha you have this game, right? Did I ask you this last stream? You have this, right? Dan, I feel like you have everything. You got to have this one, right? You gotta have this game. 
Dan's got this game. All in. All in, right, Dan? <laughs> they set up it so long. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're practically neighbors. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well, and I cut out a lot of it. I cut out a lot of it. All right. We got, uh, we need one from here. I mean, uh, sorry. We need two from this. We have these here. But we need two of these. Add my name to your producer list in the stream. Still not. What do you mean? Yes, it is. What are you talking about? Matt, what are you what are you saying? What are you saying? It's there. How dare you? How dare you, Matt? Seven-year-old is listening to Emperor's New Groove audiobook, going to sleep, one of the most underrated Disney movies. Yeah, that one didn't get as much love, did it? What? I will never have this. What kind of talk is this? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Mage Night. Mage Night Light. Come on. Now I'm getting all mixed up with the tiles. Oh, shit. Uh, these are out. One, two. Those. We have two of these. These are the... Yep, yeah, okay. We need one of these. Mage Knight. Mage Knight. All right, let's get this here. Um, yeah, I, I want to count this. So we need four... Five, six, seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. All right. We should be good. Let's shuffle these together. That part was right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, come on. Mage Knight Light. You're not betraying it. This game is so different from Mage Knight. So different. I mean, the only thing that they share is what the hexes you're moving around the hexes and you're placing tokens on it i mean come on come on i mean you gotta you gotta admit one thing though the art is just so much better in this <laughs> it's just so much better <laughs> all right Go put this on top. Why do you love uh, Simon? I'm sorry, I have a uh... oh the cards. Okay, yeah, that's true. That's true. All right, Frodo's got something else here. Okay, all right, all right, all right. That's true. All right, let's put this on top. Uh, let's steal these out. We got an Elven Shield. Got another sack. Got a chest. And we have... <laughs> and it weighs a lot more. Yeah, that's true. Got a helmet. Uh, we have a scroll here. Necklace. Okay, we got a, a revealed a little bit more. Let's just put that back on top. I didn't see it. And we got another chest of gems, dragon slayer tiles, enchanted glacier greaves, another chest of gems. We got enchanted beast gauntlets. And we have some, uh, I don't know what those would be called, gloves. Mittens. Ten times more. You want to do eighth grade math? That's it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, man. Sometimes it's it's better. You know what I mean? During the week, sometimes you want that eighth grade math. Can't back a black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I got you. <laughs> that's true. That's true about the MK light. <laughs> He declined making, but I thought, I thought for a second, Curtis was, uh, I think he's like slightly interested. I, I do think he is. Uh, let's get our card here. I think, I think the amount of stuff is, uh, is stopping him. I think we shuffled everything else. Uh, so we are good. We have our three tokens. We have our scepter plate. Uh, we have our frostbite and, uh, our health, we have our starting potion, we have our four gar tokens. This is set to zero. If I'm not gonna fully explain everything, I'll just talk it out as we go. Uh, if you do want a more more thorough deep dive into the uh, into what I'm doing, uh, check out the first playthrough with that I did with uh, Zafiri. But again, our objective is we're trying to complete this card. This won't be revealed until we find a tile, our objective tile, on this board. So we're going to have to explore, find that tile. Right when we do, this card will be explored, telling us what we need to do to complete this card. Once we do, this card will be revealed. And once we complete this, then we win the game. And we have nine rounds to do it in. So we have our round tracker right here, and that's going to go up to uh, nine. So at the end of the ninth round... If we haven't completed this card, then we lose. And this card, we only have one, so we know what this is going to be. Um, okay, uh, so with that being said, let's get rolling. So uh, let's, and we did shuffle everything else, right? Yeah, I did the treasures. I did those. We already laid those out. We'll shuffle up the, uh, the quest tile, the quest tokens, tiles, as they come up. I think everything else is good. Yeah, we shuffled up those cards. Okay. Yeah, so let's get going. So I think first, let's spend this to... Yeah, let's go Let's go to the portal. I always like going to the portal first. We'll start up here. Okay. We have another portal here. We have an Ice Clan, which is also something new uh, in this. So we can trade with this Ice Clan, but when we... And we can, it basically acts as a merchant or alchemist. We can purchase anything from these, but instead of paying with coins, we have to pay with the new, one of the new resource types, crystals. Um, and let's go here. Okay, and we found the objective uh, tile already. So let's flip this. And this says we need a uh, number of tokens equal to the number of players plus two. So we need to put three of our tokens on this, and we can do that in two ways. We can defeat an ice spider, we put a token on here, or liberate an ice storm hex. So as the ice storm populates the board, if we go into one of those ice storm hexes and defeat an enemy, then we can place a uh, token on there. Um, and then once we reveal this, we would spawn a number of enemies, ice uh, spiders, onto the board. However, the rules say if it is revealed in round one, do not place those until round two. Okay, uh, let's finish up here. All right, and we have an earth elemental. That's one thing on the last game. We didn't find too many elementals. I think it was like maybe one earth and I want to say one wind, like all game. <laughs> Showing up late, very unlike you. Uh, don't forget to like stream. Steven, thank you so much. Yeah, guys, if you haven't yet, please uh, click the like button on the video. Seriously helps out the channel and the video. Uh, if you're not subscribed yet, I do a lot of playthroughs, other types of videos like that. And if you do want to support even more, I do have a link in the description uh, to Patreon. So thank you so much to everybody. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining tonight. Hope everybody's having a great day, great night. And let's get a win here, man. Let's get a win. I'm feeling good about this one. I think we're going to get a win. Uh, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling a little bit. Uh, let's see. Oh, dang, Matt. Yeah. Yeah, I wish you the best with all that, buddy. Yeah, that sucks, dude. All right, let's get going. So... Uh, we did move two, so we moved one, and we get one more movement. I think we're going to try, maybe let's try to go confront, and I want to, where are the cards right here? So I think I'm going to go try to confront the Earth Elemental. 
So let's do that right now. So let's you let's go here. All right, we'll get, let's reveal this one. Okay, and let's confront the Earth Elemental. So let's roll our dice. Come on, baby. Let's get eleven plus. Hey, that's nine, ten, eleven plus two from the Earth Elemental. Well, I don't know, man. Maybe it's maybe it's my night. So we get a level one treasure. We get a box of this type of gem. I forgot what it's called offhand. And then we get an earth essence. What's up, dude? Okay, we get an earth essence. That's pretty big. That's pretty big. Let's place our token on top. So we have completed that one. All right, we have two more tokens here. I'm going to try to change up my tactic a little bit too instead of uh, what I was doing before, which we'll see if it helps. So if we go here, I might, I guess I could pay one. Maybe we go here, fight this guy. I think so. And we did forget to give them a silver card at the beginning of the round. I'm thinking about spending one more movement to go here. And that way we can feel good about spending a potion, spending a gar token to defeat that monster. Yeah, let's do that. So let's spend one more. Let's go here. And let's reveal. We'll start here. Okay. It is this ice entity, but they don't affect anything on the board. They can be confronted like a normal elemental but they just don't affect anything in adjacent spaces okay and then let's spend our combat okay so let's go let's see we did shuffle this right i just want to shuffle it one more time um let's see <laughs> make any sacrifices to the dice gods today uh no i uh, not that i recall <laughs> uh matt with the two i'm here to make it help it has never worked matt thank you so much for the two man seriously i hope uh that sucks what you're going through man i i, I wish you the best hopefully you know some closure comes from that dude i'm sorry man i'm here for you buddy Andrew sacrifices to the dice gods always results in heavenly laugh. <laughs> yeah. They don't hear my calls. All right, let's reveal. All right, we got a boar. Four health. Okay. He's coming on with a silver card, a chaos token, and a gar token. Oh, Steven. Oh, if you want lean backs, dude, check out Monday night. That was full of lean backs. Now, this is a different chair. It doesn't lean back as well, but still, it's, you know, you can still tell they're lean backs. The size come out, right? The, you know, rub in my head, oh, God, you know, you know, lean back. How are we going to cheat to win? I'm always looking for ways. If anybody sees anything, just point it out to me. If there's a way I can, you know, cheat the system, I can rig it. Just let me know. Yeah. You guys are also my eyes. Oh, there's, oh, there's still plenty of lean backs. Um, okay, uh, let's deal out the card. Uh, so here we go. Here are his dice. Um, okay, we are ready to rock. We don't have anything before monster attacks. Now, this right here can be used at any time, our armor, to add one to this uh, die of hope. All right, so he got an eight. All right, he is using a chaos token. Okay. It is a curse. Oh, he got two cards. Of course he did. So he is doing, he's going to add subtract four from our roll and subtract one damage uh, that we do to him. So he has eight here plus two from the earth elemental. So that is going to put him at 10. That's going to be three damage. Three damage. Uh, yeah, we're just going to take that one, two, three. Okay. 
and that is his turn. And like I said, he is going to subtract four from our roll and minus one to our damage back to him. Um, okay. Uh, so we are just going to use this. We'll just use this right now. So we'll tap it. We'll add one to the die of hope. And then we're going to use our worn scepter. We got four, of course. So we do add another one to it since we rolled a two to five. I guess the sacrifices went unheard again. So we got a five, uh, which is seven from the earth elemental. and But he is subtracting three from that. So we are at four. We are at four. That is one short of this. Now we do know that we are going to get a uh, another guard token. So we can at least spend one Gar token now. And we can get one back with this as well. Or I can just take this down. No, I'm going to spend this. I'm going to spend this. Reroll this. All right, so we got a nine. Uh, we're at six from this. Seven, eight from the Earth Elemental, nine, ten with this. Yeah. All right, so we're at ten. We're one short from dealing three damage. Uh, I am. I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to use it. Uh, so we'll deal two damage him oh sorry uh, we are doing we are ha also having uh, minus one from our damage dealt so I am going to use one from the die of hope then to make it 11 which is going to deal three damage so he's going to subtract one from that dealing two damage okay all right fine 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 all right let's see what he gets he got a six he is using a gar token so he's at 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so that's going to be another three damage. We have to spend this or we're dead. <laughs> okay, so he's at nine. 10, 11. Yeah, I mean, that still puts him at three damage. Ugh. I mean, I have to do this or I'm dead. Oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, so nine. He's at nine. So that puts him at two damage. Taking us to one. Okay. Because this cancels out the Earth Elemental. These cancel each other out. So he's at nine. Good Lord. All right. Okay, our turn. So we got to do at least two damage. We can do it. Uh, we are not going to use our healing potion yet. I think... I think we are because we are going to slot him. Once we kill him, we're going to take. Yeah, we are going to use this. Fine. We'll use it. Okay, we got seven. That puts us at two damage. So that's him dead. Okay, so he's dead. He is going to give us two rep. Silver card, which means they get a silver card. We get three coins. We get a healing potion. We get a guard token. We get another silver card, which means they get one. And we have liberated this hex. It is just a regular. Okay. 
All right. And we are going to take him as a prize. He's my prize. All right. Stepping away, I'm going to turn up uh, the sound and I will determine how it is going by counting the number of deep sighs. <laughs> All right, man. Sounds good. I'm just glad no one watches my playthroughs. The amount of mistakes are extreme, I'm sure. That's eh, everybody. Everybody's got them. I don't care what they say. Soft butter not melted. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's see. I love how the streams are now about how long our boy can last. Dude, uh, last playthrough, it hit like 12, and I was doing that wrap-up. I was talking about, it, about my initial thoughts. I was getting, like, delirious. I think I just, like, was pretty much, all right, guys, that's it. <laughs> Peace out. I was getting delirious. Okay, uh, so we got all of our stuff here. That is the end of the round, so let's take this over. So now we have to place some ice storms out. So let's see where they're going to go. All right, on mountains. So we do have two here and here. So we're going to place them there. Okay, that has been used. Uh, now we're going to place out the ice spiders. So the ice spiders also, they have their own hatching card. We didn't shuffle up the compass ties, I don't think. So we have two that we have to place. Place a number of players plus one. So one, the first one that we're they're trying to be placed on is the uh, the Earth Elemental. Uh, but I did forget if they would go on the Earth Elemental if there is a token. Basically, if we already have completed that. Let's see. Ice minions emerge. Da -da -da. Okay, let's see. Okay, yada yada. That does not have any blocking figures. Not elementals, though. Or hero tokens on it. Yep. Or hero tokens on it. Okay. All right, uh, so let's go to the next one. It is wind elemental, and then it is mountains. Okay, so we do have two mountains. So they are just going to be placed on those. Actually, there is three. So let's reveal a compass tile. All right, starting in the south. And we'll go right there too, the southernmost. And so we have used that one. And those are the ice spiders. Okay. All right, uh, we refresh our stuff. Here we go. Round two, right? Uh, the beginning of the round, add a silver card. <laughs> Steven saying you're right. <laughs> uh, this one is uh, ice theme, so I'm going to throw it out there uh, that the next campaign campaign will be fire. That would be awesome. Yeah, just anything like with a new theme, like jungle, yeah, some sort of like, yeah, flame or like fire landscape, you know, desert, all of those things I think would be awesome. I'm always right. <laughs> Brisket head. <laughs> I've never heard of that one. That was a good one. All right, let's go. Round two. So, is there anything from the shop that we want? That three guard token is, uh, or that scroll with the three guard tokens is tempting. Costs four. We have three money. We can sell this to get two. I think what I would like to do if I confront, I think I want to confront the, oh, and we could liberate this. Ooh, yes. So that would fulfill actually both of these. Defeat an ice spider and liberate an ice storm hex. So the ice entity, if we uh, try to take them on, 
three to six, we get one frostbite damage, a level one treasure, and we get a gar token and a crystal. Seven to ten, we take two frostbite, we get a rep and two crystals. Or 11 plus unlock a hero slot with the lowest value. Okay, so we are definitely going to do those. Uh, what do we get here? So it is a gar token and a... Oh, but that's from... Okay, yeah, but that's not going to be from him. We would get this. Okay, let's do that. I think we're going to do that. We could get that Elven Shield. Hmm. I might want to heal first. I guess... Should we go... I'm thinking about going here first. Taking this on. And then going to fight the Ice Spider. Yeah. We have a healing potion. We have two gar tokens. We're going to get a gar token back. The ice spider, they have 5 health. They are pretty dirty. But we do we are frostbite though. We will be down to 4. Okay. Uh let's just try it. Let's just try it. Why not? Why not? Okay, so let's move. Uh, let's spend our two token. Let's go here. So let's reveal this. It is the griffin. It is the griffin. All right, so we can use that for some extra movement. We entered an ice map tile, so we get to go up on the chill track. And then we are going to go, uh, we're going to confront the ice entity so let's roll okay it's in the, it's a fantastic roll uh 10 Ooh, so we would take two frostbite we get a rep and two crystals we take two frostbite take two frostbite we could try to get one more. I don't think we do. Okay. Let's just stick to that. Yep, we're going to take uh, two Frostbite. Go on to four. And we're going to get a rep. And we're going to get two Crystals. Put these in the slot here. Okay, pretty good. We have done that. Now, with taking two frostbite damage, are we going to go tackle the ice spider? Because if we jump in there, we're going to go to three frostbite. At the end of every round, he is going to deal a frostbite to us. I think we do. I think we just try to. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get a little risky. Let's get a little risky. So we're gonna. We went into the ice storm. Take a frostbite. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, let's reveal. Okay. All right. Uh, let's spend our combat. All right. Let's do it. Ice spider. All right. So he comes on. He gets a silver card. That's awful because that's going to turn into a gold card. He gets two chaos. And he gets a gar token. Okay, let's see. 
Come on, baby. Uh, so before he goes, I'm going to use this. So I can't take my health above the frostbite. So that's where we are. We're at... Uh, now we could use this. We could use this Earth Essence. So let's let's think about that. He got six. All right. He's using a Gar token though. But he's not using the Chaos tokens, which is good. All right. So he's gonna use this. Reroll the two. He got three. So he's at seven, eight, nine. He's at nine. That puts him at just generic two damage. I did also forget to draw one of these. That's a level two. We don't want that. All right. He also gets a plus two. Uh, but he doesn't get both of these. If Oh, no. he He's not on an Earth Elemental. Shit. Okay. So he's going to have a plus two added to all of his rolls. Just his rolls. All right. So he's at 11. That puts him at three damage. Crap. Okay. I think I need to use this. I need to use this. Reroll the four. It becomes a five. So he's at 10. God damn it. <sighs> so I could, I'm probably going to use this earth essence to add plus eight to mine. So I'll probably get a guaranteed three damage. It's just going to be surviving. His next attack. Especially because he's probably going to pull a card where he's going to use the chaos tokens. I mean, maybe I... Maybe I just take the three damage. But if I take the three damage, I mean, there's no way. If he gets a one to four, he's dealing one damage. Like, there's no way I can prevent all the damage. So then maybe it's something like... If I use the Gar token, man, it couldn't have just been nine. It couldn't have reduced it by one more. So I'm probably going to do three damage. He has five health. So I just need to survive one more turn. I need to use it. I need to use it. He needs to go down. Yeah, I have to. All right, so I said six. Both of these would cancel each other out. So he's at six. That deals two damage. All right. And he hits me for... Uh -oh. He hits me for one frostbite. How am I going to survive this? Okay. All right. Uh, we're going to use this. Get one on the Die of Hope. <laughs> Who was looking for leanbacks? <laughs> Who was looking for leanbacks? Goodness. Ah. Two. <laughs> really? Two. 
My, my. So, even if I use this, even if I use this, that puts me at two damage. I'd have to roll an 11 plus next turn. Now I have two here. I could use the Die of Hope. I could get a guard token immediately. I could use that to make sure that puts me in the three damage, but that just leaves me wide open next turn. I think I have to save it. I, I do not see a way out of this. I think I have to save it. And I still have to use this. God, man. <laughs> Chair doesn't lean too far. Not too far. Rufus, what's up, man? I I guess we still have to use this. Oh, oh. Oh, we didn't even attack yet. Yeah. It's our first attack. God, I feel like I'm always in these positions. I even got an Earth Essence, and I can only deal two damage, even while using this. Crazy, dude. Crazy. <sighs> yeah, I think I have to... I think I have to save this, because I, I have to save it for his role... When he attacks me, I have to hope that it's low enough that I'll only I'll be able to get him down to one to four. But I still have to use this because I have to at least do two damage. Yeah, I have to use this. So I'm doing this. That puts me at ten. That puts me at two damage. God man. Insane. Insane. Using an earth essence and only two damage. Nonsense. All right, let's see. Let's see what he got. All right, so he got five. And he's using the K. Okay, 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 okay. This is doable. This is doable. He's using, uh, trying to use guard tokens but he doesn't have any so I need to he's going to deal two damage to me I need to use this to get a guard token two of those use that and re-roll the three all right all right so he's he did two so he is dealing one damage so we are live but he is subtracting three from our next roll this is just <clears throat> I don't... Oh, wait a second. No, he's at... Two... Okay, he's still at... Uh, He's still at four. That still puts him at... One damage. And he dealt the frostbite. Okay. And we did do two damage last time, so we do get plus one to our roll. So, subtracting two... I mean, we need to deal three damage here. I mean, that is just not likely. Especially with that. Man, I swear to God. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> we're dead. There's nothing I can do. There is nothing I can do. So we're at five. We're actually at three because minus three here, but we got a plus one here. So minus two. We're at three. I could use this, whatever. We're at four. We don't deal any damage. Man, dude, I, I don't know. I don't know. 
So he kills us. Oh, boy. Let's see. <laughs> the lean back we need. <laughs> Beetlejuice. Hate spiders. Yeah. These ice spiders are especially annoying. Should have made the dice guys. I, dude, I, I don't know, dude. I don't know. Okay, so we go back to the church. I thought I, I thought I was doing a, a good move too. All right, so let's heal up. Uh, we take our turn from here. Do we spend a coin to just buy? Damn it. We do start with three guard tokens. And we actually get a gold card as well, which is just as annoying. So I'm going to use this to turn that into a coin. And they also get a gold card for that also. Damn it. God, that's frustrating. So we do have one more left. Do I just bank this? I'm just going to bank it. Every time Andrew says frostbite, my nether regions tingle. I think it's the Midwestern in me. Uh, does that happen to anybody else? <laughs> nether regions. Huh, Dan? Might be part of the problem. The anti-glory. Yeah, man. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that was it. That was it. Okay, let's go to round three. Man, that sucked. That sucked. That sucked. Um, and we did go here, and then we did go into the ice storm, so the chill token should have gone up as well. Okay, new round. Let's place this here. Um, it is an odd round, so no ice storm. Damn it. Uh, let's replenish this. Okay, I think we still want to try to do the same thing. I mean, we're fully healed up now. I think we can take him. What's the worst that could happen? So I think what we're going to do is... Do we have a portal? Yeah, we have one here, but that doesn't help too much. I think there was another portal. Uh, it just goes right there. Now, we, did, we can use the griffin. I think we did use this before. So what we can do is... We can call the griffin uh, so we can discard a monster. And so that can, he can come to us or we can discard a mo Yeah, he can come to us and then we can teleport uh, four spaces. So we can call him from four spaces away, which I think we will do. And then we can just one, two, three, four. Yeah, I don't know if we can call him in the church, but, you know, why not? He can, he, you know, he can fly through a window or something. Okay, so let's do that. Let's discard this to call him. Right. Discard this to call him. So he comes four spaces. And then we can teleport four. So one, two, three, four. We're going right back to here. Screw it. We'll put them off to the side for a second. Okay, let's uh, let's use our combat token. We're, we're trying to take on this guy. Okay, Ice Spider again. Uh, we did enter a... Uh, and we have to take a Frostbite because we entered that uh, Ice Storm. Okay, let's go. Ice Spider again. One... Silver card. We're we're taking this guy down. I don't care. Two chaos, one guard token. All right, let's do it. Oh, we got to get his bonus, which I found these to be especially annoying. He gets an extra guard token. Okay, let's see. He got a nine. That's what I'm talking about. It's one short from giving me uh, one on the die of hope. All right, nine here. Boom. 
He is using a Chaos token. Gold card. Power Strike. Next gold card is not another Power Strike. So he's only using one. Gets plus two to his damage and minus two to our roll. All right, so he's at nine. So he's dealing two damage, plus two. That's four damage. Uh, we're going to take it. <laughs> we're going to take it. Right? I mean, he's at nine. He's at nine straight up. Yeah, let's take it. One, two, three, four. Going to two. And minus two to our roll. Okay, let's see. Come on, baby. All right, we got a nine. We got a nine. Uh, let's use this to go up one. We got a nine. So minus two, we're at seven. That still puts us at two damage. Uh, and he did do a frostbite damage to us. Uh, let's let's accept that. So we're going to deal two damage to him. This can go away now. It was a gold card. Okay. So we'll just hold there. We will hold there. Okay. His turn. Uh, before he goes, we are going to use this healing potion. Uh, one, two. And let's see what he gets. You got a four. All right. All right. And he is using two guard tokens, though. This could get nasty. Okay. Looks like it might get nasty. It's really nasty. All right. He's at 14. So he's dealing three damage and minus one to our damage. Fourteen. What's the chance I could get him down to nine? I have three guard tokens. I am gonna get a guard token from this. Let's use one. Okay. Six. Seven. Eight. There we go. He's doing two damage. Uh, frostbite afterwards. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Now we, since we did the uh, five to ten last time, we do get a plus one to our roll. It is a six. We need to deal three damage. I don't think I can let him. So we're actually at seven, right? Let's use this. We're at eight, nine, ten, eleven. That puts us at three damage. Okay. All right. He is dead. That's five damage total. Good lord. All right, two rep, two coins, crystal, gar, two silver. That's going to convert to a gold. We'll sell that for a coin. That two silver is going to add to their pile which is going to convert to a gold card. Okay, we have liberated that Ice Storm Hex and defeated an Ice Spider, so we have done both of those. And let's put this on here. All right. Good Lord. The die of no hope is what came in your box. <laughs> File a ticket, yeah, replacement, a replacement part for the. Uh, they got a campaign open for uh, replacement parts right now. I should file a ticket. Oh, 
Okay. All right. Well, I mean, we have we have a bunch of tokens left. I think we go. We can resolve this right now. Uh, we might take a lot of damage there. Uh, we might take a lot of damage there. So what we can do is anytime outside of combat, we can resolve this chill space, right? So, and what happens is before we gain the rewards, we have to take the frostbite damage. So in this case, it is on spot three. So this is saying we have to roll a white and a blue die. So both of these also have frostbite symbols on them. So this would be a frostbite here and here. And then space three also has a frostbite symbol. So that would be three frostbite. Uh, that would be enough to kill us. So I don't think there is a spot on here without a frostbite symbol. Uh, there is one on the blue. One on the blue. So we definitely do not want to risk that. And we haven't liberated any kind of place where we can buy stuff. We only have to defeat one more of these uh, ice spiders. Or e it could even just be a regular ice storm. Like we could defeat this since it's an ice storm, but it's not an ice spider to place one on here. And that's this one already completed. Uh, but we can't battle another enemy just yet. I think I want to do some mining. But I can't hear. Those are both combats up here. Oh, and you know what? I did. I will take the ice spider as a reward. So I could call the griffin again. He is on the spot. Which I might do. I might go to here. Try to get some treasure. If I do that, this will go up to spot four. Ugh, that's risky. Maybe instead what we do is we go here, wait till next round, or we just go back to the church. We spend one coin to get a healing potion. I just don't know how I'm going to navigate around this frostbite damage unless I go heal. I guess what I could do, maybe instead... We need to go to a location. Maybe we stay here and go here next time. That could work. That could work. Just so I could go heal. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, you know what? No. Let's do this. Let's spend this. We're going to spend this guy. We're going to teleport four. So one, two, three. We'll go here. We'll reveal this first. Another earth elemental. Here. Okay, got an ice clan, and we do have another location with a uh, a market. And we got this here, another earth elemental. Okay, I just don't want to see the wind. Okay, all right. Um, both of those are combat locations. I guess I could go and try to tackle the. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go up there. I don't need the market one right now. So let's spend the two. Actually, we're going to spend this one. We're going to go here. And we're going to confront the earth elemental. All right, so let's roll. We get a plus two from him. It is a four. So five, six. Which is nothing. Spend a gar, man. They're just come on, dude. My rolls have been just absolute trash. Okay. 
I don't think I'm going to spend a gar. Man, it's just they're they're just so valuable. I'm not going to spend it. Just crazy. Craziness. Let's see uh no risk, no glory. <laughs> Manly business. Uh, let's see. The puppet next time. <laughs> False alarm. Go back to the church. <laughs> Ruin the mood. <laughs> okay. Charlene sigh and head and hands. Yeah, that's it, man. That's it. That's the trifecta. You're right. You're right. All right. Let's spend. Let's spend one more. Let's go up to here. And let's reveal these. We'll start over here. Okay, we do have a quest. Quest. And we do have an ice entity right there. Ice entity. Take some frostbite. Let's get that quest out. I think it's I think it's level now it's level two. It's level two. Alright, let's get these. Alright, so these quests. We got a portal right there. We could warp to no, nah, we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. I think we're gonna bank the two. We're gonna bank this two. And we're going to go fight one of the, yeah, okay, okay. All right, one, two, three. All right. So we could spend, I forget what that, what that gem is called or this, maybe that's Ruby. That might be Topaz or these essences. And then we would gain these rewards. Okay, I think we're going to slot this two in here, and we're going to save that for next round. We'll save that for next round. Okay, yeah, let's do that. So we bank that. Let's go to round four. Let's put out two more ice storms. Level one treasure locations. We have one here, here, and that looks to be it. Here and here. Okay. Uh, now let's do the ice spiders. They're going to try to go on to earth elementals that do not have a token. So there is only one. So that is going to be placed right there. Okay. And that is it. Let's refresh. Okay. And we are ready to rock. So we want to go confront just a regular. No, we don't have any healing. Shit, we do have two guard tokens. I'm in the same predicament that I was before. Should I just go back to the church? Teleport again. I think so. Go back to the church. I can go right. I'm already on a teleport space. Boom, boom. Go back and fight. Let's say... On a market spot. Now, what do I want? I think I want the ability tiles, to be honest with you. So, let's... So, who has... Who's going to give me the most coins? We got a four right here and on one of those spots. I think that's what I want to do. Yeah. Okay. So, we'll go... We'll hop back to the church. We'll heal up. We'll go here. We'll fight him. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. So let's spend the, what do we need? Free, one, two, free. We'll spend the one to go here and fight. 
Yeah, then we can even use our three token to fight and then the two. I was hoping to do it on a one of these market spots or uh, sorry, one of these ice map tiles, but I don't think that's going to be that's going to happen right now. We are only on round four, so we have some time. So let's spend our two here. Let's teleport. It's a free action. One. Let's spend a coin to heal. It is six healing. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That should be good enough. Two. Free action to warp back. Let's spend our one. And let's go here. Let's reveal. Okay. And let's resolve. Let's resolve this. Uh, the chill track. Let's resolve the chill track. Okay, so we're going to resolve this. Let's flip this token. Roll these two dice. We can do this anytime outside of combat. Okay, it is two crystals. Very nice. And we take three frostbite damage. Going down to three. Three frostbite and we get two crystals. We are stacked on crystals. Okay, and now this resets back to zero. And let's spend our three to do combat. And it is being affected by an earth elemental. This is a regular guy here. Yo, Paragon, what's up, dude? How are you liking Arlen? Uh, he's cool, man. I do like how he can manipulate the die of hope. But, dude, we had just some more horrible roles, man. I felt like at first it was like the luck had changed, right? We were talking about sacrifices to the dice gods. But then all of a sudden, man, it was like, nope. He was just like teasing us at the beginning. So we struggled a little bit. We already died one time. We were about to complete uh, this the first time. Or get two tokens on there, I should say. We had a, we died, we went back. We were then able to defeat the Ice Spider. But I do like what he's doing. What we're trying to do right now is I'm fighting somebody else on this uh, this location, this merchant. And what is it called? Is it the merchant? But anyways, so after I get this four coins, I'm going to upgrade some of his abilities. Hopefully get some more good stuff. I think I'm going to do a free... Uh, exchange on the uh, items. So let's see who we got here. All right, so we got the Venomous Spider. Okay. And I think the beginning of the round, they were supposed to get a silver card. I hope I didn't auto already give them that. All right, two Chaos and one Gar. All right. All right, let's see what they got. They are being affected by the Earth Elemental. Got eight. Oh, and they're using all of it. Oh. Oh. Big spending. Okay. They re rolled and got a one. That's good. Okay. So right now, uh, they're at nine. They're spending both of these chaos tokens. They got a lot of gold cards. Uh, regenerate. And soul control. Of course, it's regenerate. It had to come up at some point. It had to come up at some point. Uh, let's see. Time to hit a nice clan. Yeah, for sure, man. I got a lot of crystals banked up. Yep. <laughs> the poor roller clan, yeah. Do I need a credit check? Because I might be bad. <laughs> All right. Okay, so what do we got here? So he is at 9, right? 10, 11. Uh, this is also going to gain him another Chaos token. Uh, this is a plus 5. It's also going to get him a Silver card. All right, so we got 5, another 7. So what did I say? He's at 9. Yep, so he's at 16. 
16. Sixteen. Uh, he's only dealing three damage. Yeah. Okay. I gotta. I gotta take that. Right. There's no way I'm gonna spend all these car tokens to try to get down seven. The poor roller clan. The poor roller clan. <laughs> uh. Okay. Let's take the three. One, two, three. It reminds me of like uh, if anybody has seen the Mario movie where it's like the penguins at the beginning, you know, Bowser shows up and the penguins come out. Do you yield? <laughs> that's that's the poor roller clan. <laughs> and they just get laughed at. OK. Um, all right. So he did. De he dealt a three. Uh, this is going to go away. Uh, they did get another silver card. This was used. Uh, they got that back to... Okay. This is going here. Do you yield? And they got the regenerate. Uh, four health. Okay. We are going to use his breastplate to get one on Die of Hope. Okay, let's see what we can do. Oh, snap. Uh, that didn't affect it at all, though. His role. He, uh, he was actually at 18 because of the uh, the Earth Elemental. All right, so let's go. Okay, look, what's up? We got a 10. We got a 10. 11, 12. We're at 12. So we just dealt three damage. What? We just dealt three damage. Three damage. That's it. Okay. Uh, we didn't need, need to use anything special. Now, we will have to spend all of our Gar tokens pretty much to uh, try to reduce his attack down to one. Uh, he does have a Gar, uh, sorry, a Chaos token, and he does have two Silver cards. Uh, but he doesn't have any uh, Gar tokens left, but he is still also being affected by the Earth Elemental. So he is going to regenerate. Let's see what he has now. He did get a 10. So this goes up to two. He is using the... Uh, this game is just trying to... It's trying, man. It's trying. Mind control plus five. Okay. That is not another mind control. Ooh, this is going to be rough. This is going to be hard. Okay. So he's at 15. <sighs> Must be a felon. <laughs> Rolls this bad. <laughs> Two on the die of no hope. <laughs> Dude, if I if I die here, this is gonna be. So he's at fifteen. <sighs> I need to get him down to. I need to get him down to two. I'm sorry. He's at he's at 17. I need to reduce this roll by 15. <laughs> I need to reduce this roll by 15. <laughs> Cuz I'm at 2 health. 0 to 2, he's dealing 1 damage. Oh man. 3 to 9, he's dealing 2. Yeah, he's at 17. Okay. Let's do it. Let's start. All right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's not going to work. Uh, let's use this. Still get another guard token. We'll spend it. Wow. 
Why? 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 Can it even be done at this point? This cancels out the uh, the Earth Elemental. It can't even be done at this point, right? He's at 11. Uh, he's at 14. Dude, I just... Man, I, I, I don't know. I don't know, dude. My luck in this game has been absolutely... Yeah, it cannot be done, yeah. Because even if I rolled a 1... It reduces it by five, so I can only reduce it by seven more. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. God, I yeah, I don't know. My luck has been atrocious here. So he's dealing, I don't know, whatever, whatever it is. It's it's enough. Like, he had to get the plus five. You know what I'm saying? He had to get the plus five. Yeah. <laughs> Am I the only one who watches the stream just to make myself feel superior when I play? <laughs> nice. Nice. Hey, hey. Not a bad tactic. Some people pay extra for the die of no hope. I mean, I... Do I have the other one in here? No. It's not in there. It must be in the box. It's buried somewhere. Wait, wait a second. Yeah, but what am I... I think I need new dice. We need a new die of hope. Now this one, this one needs to be able. To, it's not the die of hope's fault. It's the dice that I'm rolling. We need new dice. Who are we using? We got to use the special dice. Okay, let's use this guy. Let's use this. It's not the die of hope's fault. It's these dice here. It's those dice. Just like Wednesday night with the wife, if you subtract 15, he stays against me, then okay. <laughs> Two minutes later, I'm going to lean back and sigh. <laughs> uh, makes me feel better about my roles, too. Yeah, dude. This playthrough, and it sucks, too, because it's like, oh, yeah, got the prototype trying to show off Cruel Frost. And then it's like, just the last playthrough was like, it went to shit. I failed miserably. And then now it's like, it's like the same thing is happening. I even tried to change up the tactic a little bit. Like I, I went for, dude, I had a uh, Paragon. I got an Earth Essence uh, round one. Round one, I confronted the uh, the Earth Elemental. And I, so I'm trying to change up the tactics a little bit. And then I got a damn, I rolled two ones. I rolled two ones. All I needed to do was, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm forgetting the battle exactly. If I would have just gotten, yeah, because I rolled two ones and then with the earth essence, I I would have still at 10 and I think I needed to do the three damage at 11 plus and I didn't get it. I didn't get it. I rolled two ones. I just, you know, but I had to spend it because I had a cheesy. It is just, it is just not. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can still hear me. Okay. We're getting something back. Dice of no hope. Let's see. Let's see. 
Okay. Hopefully you guys can hear me now. Let's see. Okay, maybe it'll stay. I think it's back. I think it's back. Okay, it's back. <laughs> Wi-Fi connection in the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, it's good now. It looks it's it's hanging on now. Okay. All right. Jesus. Okay. Well, I have a uh, two token left. I think I should hang on to it. I think I should hang on to it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it's holding strong now. Okay. Yeah. Let's stay here. Let's just stay here. I don't know if I should just buy... I don't want to keep buying these healing potions. I do heal at the max. I need to save... I need to save my coins. Yeah, we're going to save it. We're going to save it. Okay. But we're going to stop here. Oh, let's go to round five. Uh, nothing is going to spawn. No ice storms. No ice spiders. Let's... Let's get our tokens back. I think we're just going to do the same thing. I need to upgrade my stuff. <laughs> uh, we need to take on an ice clan as well. Do I go to the ice clan? If I go to the ice clan, I will have five. I would have nine crystals. I will have nine crystals. That's actually, that's not bad at all. Nine crystals. I could teleport here and then go right to there. Yeah. Yeah, but there's four coins. I'd actually have more crystals. Yeah, I'll have more crystals, so I can actually do more. Okay, let's do that then. Let's change it up. Maybe I'll have better luck in the Ice Clan. Spend our two. One, whoop, two. I'm going to the Ice Clan. We're trying this. All right, baby. Let's do it. Let's take this up one. Because we went to a, a nice spot. All right, let's see. Oh, we already know what it is. That's right. Venomous Spider. Come on, man. All right, new round, uh, silver card. Okay, two chaos. Pixelated Bugaki. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, Rufus. I don't know if we're selling Mike on this. No, no frostbite damage, only in a ice storm. You all in an ice storm and an ice map, you always take up the chill track. Only in the ice storms, you take the frostbite damage. Or when you resolve this track, depending on where it is. Why not your connection? <laughs> Rufus says, I'll order you a pledge. There you go, Mike. There you go, Mike. Mike's going to get it. Mike's going to love it. Okay, let's go. All right, what do you got? What do you got? Six. All right. This is the same. It's the same one. He's using all of his tokens. This is crazy. Although this time, he's not being affected by the... Uh, okay, there we go. He's not being affected by the Earth Elemental. Okay, let's use it. He does have a gold... It is at least not a regenerate, but that is going to get him another chaos token. Um, and he's going to use this silver. Okay, let's see a curse. Nope. Okay. All right, so he is going to get another silver card for this. So that puts him at 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 
13 puts him at 13. That's three damage. I want to save my guard tokens, man. I think I'm going to keep them all. Yeah. And minus three to our roll. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's take that three damage. Let's take that three damage. Go into three. Okay. And he spent most of his tokens. Not all of them, but uh, at least we have a lot of guard tokens left. Okay. Uh, we went down. Uh, this can go away. No, I'm sorry. That's going to stick around. And... Um, yeah, we already took that damage. And minus three to our roll. We're going to use this to go up one here. Let's see what the new dice provide for us. Six. Six minus three. We're at three. We're going to use one. Reroll the two. It is a five. So we're at six, seven, eight. Yeah. That puts us at five to ten. That deals two damage. And it gives us plus one to our next roll. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see what the next one is. It is a five. Okay, here we go. No guard tokens. So he's at five, six, seven. That's going to be two damage. We're taking it. Okay. Took the two damage. That was it. All right, let's go. Seven. Definitely. Uh, all right, I'm out. Got to work in the AM. Check out the stream later. Cheers, broskies. Uh, good luck. Paragon, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it, dude. Yeah, let me know what you think after you watch it. Okay. Uh, so we're at seven. Uh, we do get plus one. So we're at eight. That is enough. That is enough. So that's going to be two damage. And that is all he needs. Okay. Jeez. We get a rep. Going up to six. Two silver cards. Come on, man. Uh, we'll turn this in for a coin. That means they're going to get two silver. That's going to turn into a gold. Shuffle their silver cards up. We also get an onyx gem. Onyx gem. We'll put it in the stash. All right, and then we also get a gar token and one coin. Okay, and let's put one token here because we are going to uh, join the Ice Clan now, and we're going to take this guy. And we're going to slot him. So we are joining the Ice Clan. Okay. So we now, using this, we get a bonus of four. So we have five gems here and crystals, I'm sorry. And we also get four more here as a bonus. So we have nine crystals. So the Ice Clan works exactly like the other, like the Merchant and the Alchemist do except for here we have to use crystals instead of coins ice clan that's what they that's what they trade with so we do get a bonus of four so we have nine crystals right now we can unlock stuff we can basically do everything we can do at those two locations we can buy anything from these spots as well we can heal which we're probably going to need to do so i think in first up I think we're going to spend one. What are we at? We're at we are at 6. Yeah, so let's spend one. Spend one here to reveal 
all the tiles up to level six. All right, so we got these here. Let's do this. We got the zeros, the twos, fours, and the sixes. Okay. So we have eight left. I think I want the, I think the monster hunter, which is free. I do have two open slots here. I do really also like this guidance. With the um, griffin on the board, movement is a little bit easier for us. Where exactly is he? I think he's... I think he's here. We'll put him there. All right. So what does this look like? Uh, Holy Scepter is five. All right. So I could get this for free. I could pay two for this. That leaves me with six. I could get this. That gives me some healing and an additional health. But that Holy Scepter is looking really nice too. Four to eight does two damage. Plus two. Nine to eleven. Deals three damage. This gives us a minus one permanently to their rolls. And we can spend two from the Die of Hope to heal to. I'm kind of liking this. I think that's what I'm liking. Yeah, so we're going to take this one. And let me, uh, let's see. Should go burn down a monster and recruit some fire golems. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, uh, I will be right back. I just got to, I got to go to the bathroom real quick. I will be right back. All right. All right. All right. So we got that. We got the monster hunter. I think we want the holy scepter for five. Yeah, let's get the holy scepter. One, two, three, four, five. Heal two, bro. This one right here. Flushing them. <laughs> my, my wife has to call like a plumber. I'm like out of way. She's like, honey, why is the toilet clogging? <laughs> plumber comes, finds all these dice. A lot of orange dice in there. <laughs> I thought that would work. All right, let's sell this. 
Uh, does that cost two heal? Which one are you uh, looking at? Uh, which one are we looking at here, Matt? I'm thinking about taking this one. This one we could spend two on the die of hope to heal to. Uh, we are going to get... I guess we also can slot this. I think... Uh, but I think we want that other one. Uh, we're going to sell... Sell the Worn Scepter. Now, I believe when you sell, like when you get rid of these, uh, you do get a coin back. I don't think you get an Ice Crystal. Um, let's put this, we'll just put this at the bottom here. And so we have three left. Three left. I think I'm going to take this Guidance. Uh, cause these, these two can go away. These two can go on the bottom. I think I'm going to take this guidance. I would love to take the, the helm. It is very nice, but I just don't have enough for it right now. I wanted a better weapon and this was, yeah, what else did I get? Did I get anything else? Okay, we'll pay two for the guidance. We'll put it right here. And then we will pay... <laughs> yes. Yes, I did, Matt. <laughs> and we will pay one to heal. Uh, five. I guess it could even be the eight. But that's all we need. Okay, so we can still unlock these for a later turn. Okay, so we leveled up a little bit. Okay, I feel better about that. Um, and I guess this would be... We did just do combat. Right? Yep, we did just do combat. Okay. All right, all right. So we did some things. Now let's think about... Let's think about what we need to do now. We just need to defeat one more Ice Spider. Or liberate an Ice Storm Hex. That's all we need to do. I kind of like this idea of coming over to this guy. Gives us a guard token. Healing Potion, and two coins. We could go down here to fight uh, this Ice Spider. Try to confront the Earth Elemental. We could... and We can't complete that quest yet. I guess we could go on to this portal just to see. Yeah, let's do that. But I might want to keep my mining token. So let's spend two. Let's go up here. Let's reveal. Starting up here. All right, we got a Dragon Slayer tile. And let's go to this. A water elemental very nice very nice okay so we are on a portal we have one more movement left one more movement is there any kind of spaces where i could get a treasure uh, we do have an ice storm here. There is one here, but I can't reach it. Well, for one more movement, I guess I could go here and just explore this. Okay, let's move this down a little bit. It's getting a little tight here. And we do have a wind elemental. Okay. I think we're going to hold right there. 
we're going to hold right there. So let's bank this. Let's get these back. Refresh. This is going to go to six. Let's see what we got. All right, so we got one, two, three. So let's draw. Starting in the east. I think it's going to go right to these are tied so then it's going to go to the northernmost right here okay all right ice spiders two are already on the board so we don't need to worry about that okay round six round six beginning in a round silver card okay and let's go So let's try to defeat, we want to try to defeat either an, a, an ice spider or liberate one of those ice storm hexes. So where can we do that? I guess we can go, I was thinking about right there and we can just go right over to there. So let's, yeah, let's do that. Are we on a portal? We are. So we could go right to here. Okay, so let's teleport to there. Boom. Let's spend one to go to here. We will take, um, this will go up and we will take one frostbite. Let's reveal this. Okay. All right, and let's fight this guy. It is a gecko. Two chaos, nothing else. This guy's pretty straightforward. And let's see what we get. No elementals affecting this, which is good. We got a seven. Six and then a one. Ron, what's up, dude? I thought we were supposed to be... <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a war brewing in the Discord. It was the oldest boys uh, B-Day, so I'm hopping on late. I'll catch you uh, from the beginning tomorrow. Ron, thank you so much. Happy birthday to him. Uh, that's super cool, man. I hope you guys had a great day. Okay. Uh, they are using... Oh, they're using two chaos. Come on, man. Oh, my goodness. Regenerate. I can't, I can't escape this. <laughs> I can't escape this. Uh, and then enhancement. Okay. So... Is that seven, eight, nine? So nine is actually putting him at still two damage. But if he did over six, he does plus one damage. So he's dealing three damage. Three damage. It's not likely I'm going to reduce that. I guess if he gets under six. He's only at nine. Should I do it? I'm going to get a guard token from this. So let's do it. Let's spend this to reroll the six. <laughs> Got a five. Crap. Okay. Uh, so he's at six. Man, come on. Because this would cancel this out. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. So he's still dealing, still dealing three damage. Crazy. I don't think I want to spend another one. Oh, oh, sorry. Uh, the guidance minus one to the roll. Minus one. So he's actually at six. He's actually at five from the guidance that we just bought. I'm going to have to pay attention to that. So he's actually at five. So he didn't get the six plus. So he's not going to deal an extra damage. So he's only going to deal two damage. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. All right. That was much better. That was much better. All right. <laughs> Great question. <laughs> All right. Let's keep that there. Okay, our turn. All 
Now we do have, um, before this, we can spend a monster for the monster hunter, which we are going to do. We can spend this to add plus two to our roll and plus one damage. So we are going to do this. So we're going to discard this guy. So we get plus two to this roll. We got seven. So it's at nine. It's at nine. And that is going to put us at three damage and plus one on the die of hope. Uh, and since we did use this, that's also going to give us plus one damage. Yeah. Okay. So we got seven, eight, nine. Nine to 11 is three damage. And then with this, we did the plus one. So we're at four damage. And this did take us up on the, let's say we did this. Because we did spend this as well. Let's say we spent this to get one here. And now we do that. So that's four damage. So he is instantly defeated. We'll get him. We'll check his uh, rewards here in one second. Okay, and then so we, by using the Holy Scepter here, we got plus one to the Die of Hope as well. So at the end of combat, we can spend that to get a, how to get a guard token, crap. We're just going to get, we would have just got it back from the reward, but that's okay. That's okay. So from the reward there, we got a healing potion and a guard token, two coins. And from the reward on this guy, two rep, going to eight, and a silver card. Okay. And since we have liberated an ice storm hex, we place one on here. Okay, so that is three. We get three rep. 9, 10, 11. We get three coins. And we would also draw three of these cards. So this, the gathering one has been completed. This is done. This is revealed. Now we would draw three of these in a solo game. This isn't too important. Uh, then we would choose one of these. But, I mean, we could. Let's just choose. Let's choose this one. I mean, we could, we could complete this. I was going to say in a solo game, you know, you could get points at the end for this, I believe. But I guess we could still fulfill this to... Um, get the reward so we'll put that there uh, we also have to reveal the top of this let's shuffle and draw this one it is an ice entity now we have to place this with the uh, objective tile but we can't place it on this so we have to place it on one of these two so let's draw a compass and starting with the eastmost, so let's place it right here. So just another ice entity right there. Um, okay. Um, as a free action, we will get the uh, that treasure. Where is my treasure? Where's my treasure? Okay, it is a scroll. I cannot fit anything else. Now this is after. Ooh, this is this is definitely useful. We are going to. We're going to use the healing potion, one, two, and slot this. There's a little fly buzzing around my head. Okay. Let's put this here. Okay. All right. All right. Very cool.
Yeah, okay. All right, we have two tokens left. Two tokens left. Maybe do we want to spend one, get another treasure? I don't know about that. I think I want to go get more of these. So what we have to do now, in order to complete this, the gathering uh, level two, for the ice council, we need to defeat two abominations, two ice abominations. So I definitely want to level up. These are still explored. We have a lot of guard tokens. We just healed. So in order to unlock this, I need either four coins or an earth essence. Can we do that? We'd have to go down here. I could discard this to fly. What if I move one, teleport, call the griffin. One, two, three, four. That is uh, just enough, but I can't battle yet. I can't battle yet. Oh, and I have to place the Ice Abominations. I'm sorry. Ice Abominations, they're going to go on. There's two that are going to spawn. They're going to go on a Water Elemental. And then they're trying to go on to an Alchemist spot. So there is one, two. Let's do a compass. Northernmost. So right here. Okay, and these these are pretty bad boys here. <laughs> this mage knight is it like a book? We got mad on our side, Mike. What's up? What's up? What's up? All right, Mike. Uh, all right, I'm out. Good luck, Andrew. Have fun, everyone. Mike, thanks so much, man. I appreciate it, dude. I appreciate it, man. I'll catch you on the Discord, brother. We got mad with us. Is that a book? <laughs> Freddy, what's up, dude? Freddy is here. Happy Thursday, everyone. Hope all are having a great day and week. I'm sure Arlen has, oh no, has gone big against his cruel, cruel frost, dude. Freddy, it has been extremely cruel, dude. Uh, I have to say this playthrough has not gone it has gone a little bit better in the fact that we are on our second quest now, sort of. We have to fulfill this card when we we are able to do that earlier than we were last game. But man, dude, the rolls, the rolls. We swapped out the dice. We flushed some dice down the toilet. It's been a little bit better since we did that. But man... Okay, so I think we're going to do that. Since we have this scroll, we can use minus three to their roll and minus one damage. I really like that. But we don't need to fight the ice spiders anymore. But we were trying to go for an earth essence. I think instead now, what we do... Maybe maybe we hold here, right? I, th I think I need to upgrade one more time. I do. I think I need to upgrade one more time. What do we got? We got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have twelve. Let's get two fives. And we'll keep two twos, two ones, sorry. All right. I think I need to upgrade a lot more stuff. So I have two tokens. I have three movement left. I'm trying to plan out. I want to go upgrade first. Do I get a, and I can sell this. So we kind of have 14 which is pretty good. 
So instead, what I think I do, I can go to a shop right now. Oh, can we plan this out? Where did I, what spot did I liberate with a shop? I don't think, I think it was an ice clan. Oh, snap. I actually haven't liberated any locations like regular merchant or alchemist locations. Wow. Okay. So maybe what I do. Maybe what I do. I mean, I got two treasure right here. I just have no space for it. And I think I want to save him for the griffin for some extra movement. I think I'm going to go right to here. So right now, which I can't. I would like to go to like some sort of merchant or alchemist. So let's figure out what else we can do until then. So I think next round we battle or we fight on one of those tiles. That's round seven. Yeah, and then eight and nine, I go straight for the abominations. And I think that's that's what we're gonna do. Uh, it doesn't leave me much as far as health, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay. If I go here, one, two, three... I guess there's an ice abomination there. I was just thinking about going here just because I would heal. Yeah, okay. So I think we... Yeah, okay. Well, with that then, with that being said, let's just spend one. To go here. And we'll see what this treasure is. After we explore this. Okay. All right. Uh, we got a ring. Uh, we're just going to forfeit this. Or we could see. Yeah, let's get rid of this. <sighs> Classic Udia. <laughs> Classic Udia, man. All right. And let's bank this. And let's go to the next round. All right. Classic Yudia. You are exactly right. Let's refresh this. Let's go to round seven. Nothing spawns. Silver card. Back to our turn. All right. So this round, we have to go to one of those market locations. I mean, I guess we could go here, but we don't have that many crystals. So we definitely want to... Go to one of these shop locations. I guess there is one with the uh, abomination. But man. I think I need to go to something else. So. I think I can go. One, two. I think I could go to here. Fight that. That'll give me four coins. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's do that. Let's spend our two. One. If we, we could call the griffin. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. to warp and then spend one sorry guys i'm just trying to i'm trying to math this out a little bit uh we are going to we're going to keep this in hand we're going to keep this in hand so we're not going to do that we're going to spend the two one two warp 
and spend one to go here. Spend the three to fight. We do take that and a frostbite. Okay, let's see. And this is being affected by the earth elemental. It is the old grizzly. The old grizzly. Comes on with one chaos token. Okay. Let's see. Uh, this was refreshed as well. Okay, let's go. He got a seven. He is using a chaos token. Using this. It is curse. The next one is not a curse. So minus three to our next roll. So he is at seven, eight, nine. That puts him at two damage. Yeah, we're keeping that, right? Uh, this is actually at eight. Still at two damage because we have this guidance. Okay. What did I say? Two damage? One, two. All right. Yep, we're going to keep that. We do have this scroll. I have to remember this. And we have a minus three to our roll. We are, what does he need? Five. Okay. We're going to spend this to get one on the die of hope. We are going to use this monster hunter to get rid of this gecko to add plus two to our roll. So we're only at minus one to our roll now. Three. Dude, what is happening here? What is happening? So we're actually at two. <laughs> we're actually at two. Because he did minus three. We did a plus two, though. So we're at minus one. So we're at two. Dude, what? We're at four. What the earth elemental? We're at four. So that's two damage. It's actually three damage with this. I think I need to save these guard tokens for... What's he going to give us? He's not going to give us a guard token. I think I need to save these guard tokens for the ice abominations. I really do. So I think I stay here. I mean, I could I could spend one. Try to re-roll that one. What's the most we could get? Five, six, seven more? Seven more. That puts us at two, four, five, six, seven, that puts us at 11, and then I could use this to make it 12, and that would actually be 5 damage. I'd have to roll a 6, though. I guess I could spend this. So I could get a 5. I could, If I roll this and I get a 5 or 6, I could one-shot him here, right here. Okay, we're actually going to do this. We are going to spend one. We're going to spend one. Dude, what is happening? <laughs> what is happening? I got another one. <laughs> All right, so we're at two, three, four, five, six. Unreal. Unreal. Uh, we're going to spend one more. No, we, we can't. We're going to spend one more. It sucks, but we got a four. Okay. So we are at six, ten... 12 minus 1 because we got a plus 1 here we got a minus 3 there sorry we got a plus 2 here we got a minus 3 there so minus 1 6 10 12 we're at 11 
11 puts us at uh, 3 damage plus 1 to our die of hope. So it actually puts us at 4 damage. Yeah, we're at 11. So I'm going to spend one here. I'm going to spend one to make it 12, which deals four plus one here. So it's dealing five damage. Uh, we're going to slot this. All right. All right. That math should check out. If it doesn't, it does now. All right. So we get... Two silver. Come on, man. I do not want the silver cards. That means they get two. We get an onyx. There we are. And we get a rep going to 12. Selling this, we get four coins here. And we have liberated this. And now we are going to spend our two to uh, spend some coins here. Uh, and we do have at least four of these. We're going to turn these in for another coin. Okay. So let's get rid of, we'll trade five in for a five. Okay, so right now we have 17. We have 17. Okay, we are at this merchant. We are going to, for our free, our first free uh, action, we're going to cycle through. Crossbow. We have these knee pads. Uh, this beast cuirass. I'm probably butchering that. So if we equip that, we get two health. If we had a citrine, we would get three health, but we get minus two to our stash. Let's do this. We are at 12 rep. We're going to spend one to uncover. We already have these uncovered. Nine and 12. Now hopefully we can get some good stuff here. We can get this. Ooh, sweet. Um, man, that cost eight. It gives us four more, but minus two to our stash. What did the onyx do? That's for mining. God, that sucks. Or at least in this situation, like I don't want that. Ooh, we could. Now this is any gem. So we could slot it with this to give us one plus one stash. So we're only down one stash, one sack, whatever you want to call it. Or we could get this maul. Five to ten, we deal three damage. Oh, we might get that. We might get that, dude. We could get intervention as well. These are these are pretty expensive though. So we could buy this for five. What did I say? We have sixteen now. I guess it's only one health, but we can use this to heal one. We could buy this for eight. That's thirteen. We'd have three left. We could sell this. That gives us one back. And this does the same thing, although it just increases our health by four instead of one. It does This one does the same thing as this, um, but it increases health by four, minus two to our stash, and we can slot a uh, any gem in there. But that maul sounds pretty good. But our health is just so low. I actually think I'm going to keep the Holy Scepter. I'm going to keep the Holy Scepter. 
I think I'm going to buy this. Let's... Let's turn this in. To get that gem. Where the hell was it? This. Right? Turn that in. Let's purchase this. I already put it on there. Oh well. Purchase this for eight. Five. Five, six, seven. I'm going to sell this. That's going to give me one. So that's the eight. Slot this in. Minus two to our stash, but I'm slotting this in. Any gem. So I get plus one to stash. So I just have minus one stash. now. Okay. Uh, but I get four health. So I'm going up to ten. I'm sorry, I'm at nine. <clears throat> uh, so I, I forgot. I actually forgot if you heal right away. One, two, three, four. Or did I heal by three? I healed by three. One, two, three. I think that's right. I, I'm. I think I might be a little wrong on that. Uh, we're not taking the mall. I think we want to take this, although this ornate shield is pretty good. Uh, maybe we take that shield. I think we take the shield. So if we take the shield... We would need the shield doesn't exhaust, which is nice. So the shield will do minus two. <laughs> Let's all go to the mall. <laughs> uh, sorry, Jens had to step away. My wife got home from work. Looks like I have to youthy a dice roll. Chance to wish me luck. See you on the flip. All right, Dan. Sounds good, brother. I think, uh, that's hilarious. I think what we're going to do, we're going to open this up. We're going to spend four, right, to unlock this slot. We're going to move this here because we can't slot this shield there. The shield needs a spot with a sword, so we could put it here, right? So the shield doesn't exhaust. We would get minus two to their roll. But that also does minus one, minus two to our roll. But we can spend one on the die of hope to just deal one damage. And we have basically two ways that we can keep adding. Especially this one. Now the intervention could keep adding to that. Not keep adding. Sorry, it's only a... Uh, a first strike ability. I don't need this, I don't think. Okay, let's take the shield. Now this healing is nice, but it's it's only going to add plus one to our health. Yeah, okay, let's take the shield. So we're going to spend four. We spent four to unlock this spot. We're going to move this over to here. And we're also going to spend four... Getting one back to get the shield. I'm just going to place this here. And that's probably going to be all of our upgrades. Okay. Now we have, I guess we have a few to spend. I could sell these. Sell these gems.
forgot exactly how much the gems get you. I think it's it, it's at least one. I don't know if it's two though. It might be two. Uh, let's put that back up there. Uh, let's let's just get one, and we'll spend that to heal. One, two, three, four. Okay. All right. Okay. I think we are done. I think we're done. Yeah. Okay. We're good. We are good. Okay. Uh, that was our whole turn. Let's get our tokens back. Let's refresh. Everything's good. Let's go to round eight. Four ice storms are coming onto the board. This is phase two now. Okay, lakes. We got one, two, three, four. Oh, we got five. So let's draw a compass. Starting in the northernmost. Here. Okay. All right. Ice abominations. There's already two, so we don't need to worry about that. Uh, but now, whenever we go into an ice storm, it is going to deal three frostbite. <sighs> Bring in a diet. <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah. He's pretty, he better be bringing in some guard tokens. <laughs> better be bringing that guard token. <laughs> That's fucking awesome, dude. That's hilarious. Yeah, man. That is hilarious. Okay. Uh, silver card goes here. This is going to convert. Oh, man. If this is a regenerate... We're fucked. Okay. All right. Let's. We got to go fight the abominations. We got two rounds left. We got to fight. Each of these has to be fighting an abomination. So we can go. And if we go on to one more ice. Sorry, two more ice map tiles or an ice storm. We are dead. What's our teleport situation looking like? Okay, so we can go one, two, right to him. Right? Yes. And then what we could do... is once we defeat him, we can go here, call the griffin, and then go there. We have two guard tokens. We can get more, hopefully with this die of hope. And yeah, okay, this is what we got to do. So let's spend, let's spend our two. And I wish we had one more movement left. So one... Two. Okay, ice abomination. Let's go spend that. Okay, let's do it. Ice abomination. Um, oh, wind elemental. Oh, snap, dude. This is about to get real janky. Wind elemental. Oh, boy. Here we go. We're in for a ride now. Okay. So what's he coming on with? And he does have a bonus of these level twos. God, it's just extra dirty. Minus three. I don't know if this is an ongoing effect. If it is, we are toast. Let's see. Combat with ice minions. Ice minion token effect. Okay, let's see. Okay, so it's just this. It's just this round. Okay. All right. It's just this first combat. Still sucks, but uh, not as bad. Comes on with three silver cards. Very nice. Two chaos and one gar. All right. 
Okay, let's see. Oh my goodness. Of course, he got two of the same number, so the wind elemental is not going to affect him. That is just wild. That is wild. Okay. He's using two chaos tokens. A regenerate. Oh. Okay. All right. Let's just roll with it. Uh, and then silver. Got mind control. Is this another mind control? It is. So he steals a gar token from me. And he gets plus five. So he's at six, 11, 13. Steals a guard token. And he's at 13, which puts him at four damage, and he, he'll get a guard token. Okay, so he's at 13, 6, 11, 13, 12, because of this. 12, um, 10, because of the shield. I could choose to... Uh, Let's do this. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, plus three. This he's doing the plus three. So he's actually at nine, eleven. He's at eleven. He's at ten because of my minus one. Nine eight because of the shield. He's at eight, which puts him at three damage. Yeah. Three damage. One, two, three. We're down to six. Okay. All right. Uh, after his turn, he deals two frostbite. Oh, that was rough. That regenerate is going to be the end of me. Uh, he has these left. This goes here. Uh, we can keep this around him. We have a minus three to our first roll. We actually have a minus five because of that. Goodness. Okay. Let's, let's use our monster hunter to discard this. That's going to give us plus two. So that's going to cancel this out. So now we just have a minus three. We're going to use this to get plus one on the die of hope. And we have to remember the wind elemental. So four is going to be flipped to three. That was five. It was a four and a one. So this goes to two. So we're at four. We're at one. Wow. Just crazy, dude. Okay. Let's spend this to reroll this. We got a five. So we're at eight, nine, ten. We're at seven. Seven. Puts us at two damage and plus two to our next roll. That would be three damage total because I did use, I oh know I didn't use the shield. Uh, I could spend one. Yeah, I could spend one to deal a damage with the shield. Hmm. 
I mean, yeah, I think we're going to accept that. We're going to accept that. All right, so we did have the plus one from here. Okay, so we're dealing three damage. We're dealing three damage. Because we used our Monster Hunter, which also gives us a plus one to our damage. So we got a seven total. We've got eight, nine, ten, minus three. We're at seven. Four to eight does two damage. Plus one from the Monster Hunter. So that's three damage. And the Holy Scepter is going to give us plus two to our next roll. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we can discard this. Get rid of this. He's going to heal for one. And let's see what he has. Four. This is going to flip to a five. He's going to use both guard tokens. Two. Okay. All right, so he's at five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's at nine. He is at nine. That puts him at three damage. He's at eight because of our guidance. Still three damage. I think we have to take this. I think we have to take this. Yeah. Let's go down to three. Uh, we also take two frostbite. Oh man, how are we gonna deal eight more damage? I, I just I I struggle with level twos, man. I struggle with level twos. Okay, all right, uh, our turn. Now he did use all of his stuff, right? He did use all of his tokens. That is the upside. Okay, uh, over to us. Now we are getting plus two because we did the four to eight. So we are getting plus two to our attack. Six and a five, very good roll, but this is gonna flip to a one because of the wind elemental. So we're at six, seven, eight. It still puts us at two damage. We are not gonna get there by continuously doing this. Because even if we we have like a hard, I guess we if we keep doing this healing, we could go. Yeah, man, but I don't know. That's tough. That's tough. I guess we could do this. I was going to say we could we're at six, seven, eight. We could use one of these to take it to a nine to deal three damage, and that will get me one more. Yeah, let's do that. Let's spend one to make it a nine. That deals three damage. He's going to five. And that gets me one on the die of hope for doing nine to 11. Three damage plus one on the die of hope. 
we do have this scroll, minus three and minus one damage. We do have this on this guidance. We can spend two on the die of hope to heal two. Yeah, let's hold. Let's hold right now. Okay, he's going to heal one. We have to choose. Are we going to heal right now? We could get a minus three. He doesn't have any more. So the most he could do is four damage. The most he could do is four damage. We could use this for uh, a guard token if it's really bad. Yeah, we gotta we gotta hang on. Okay. Oh shit, Jesus! What the hell is this doing here? <laughs> that was weird. All right, let's see, it's a four. Okay, it's a four. Uh, those won't change because they're the same value. So four, that puts him at two damage, and he heals one, which is also really bad. So he's actually at three. Oh, this is very interesting. I think he just whiffed. So what we're going to do is Guidance is giving him minus one. So he's at three. He needs at least two. So our ornate shield gives a minus two. So that's minus three. That would put him at one. Yeah. Oh, we're going to do that. Or I could use this. I think we save this. We save this. So we're going to use uh, both of these, ornate shield. And the guidance is always kicking in. So he's at one. So he doesn't do any damage, doesn't heal. He still deals two frostbite. We're gonna deal we're gonna die from the frostbite. We have to we have to hit him for like a three. Okay. Alright. But he didn't do any damage, which is good. Okay, but we are gonna get a minus two here. And we don't have the plus two to, to balance that out anymore. So let's see. We got a four and a one. Four gets, oh, that does take us up on the die of hope. Four flips to three. So we're at four minus two. We're at two. <laughs> oh, man. Two. I think we're going to use two to get a guard token. Use it. One. Dude, come on, man. So that puts us at four, six. It still does two damage. All right, four, six, two damage. It's going to take him to six, man. And then he's going to go to five. I would need to do like a 12 roll and then plus use this. So I could actually use this. Man, this is rough, dude. Because he's going to hit us for two frostbite this turn. And then two the next turn. So I basically have this round and one more round. I have one more round. I say with, with all due respect, your rolling is truly abysmal. I know, dude. <laughs> it's terrible. Oh, man. Okay. He 
yeah, dude, if I just, if I just had like better roles to, I mean, obviously it would just, I would be in such a better position. And plus that regenerate, of course, man, of course, of course. All right. I think I have to stay here. I have to stick with this. So we're dealing uh, two damage. He's going to six. I mean, I could spend. Oh, I can't. I can't do that now. Oh, crap. Yeah, that's right. So I could spend one on the die of hope. I have a point like I could just straight up deal a damage. <clears throat> if I got two, I could heal two, but I, I really want to use it for this damage. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it is, it is what it is. Okay. He's going to heal once to five. He has eight. A five is getting flipped to a two. So he's at five. He's at five. He's at four because of our guidance. If I did a minus two, that takes him to two. He does two damage and he heals one. I think I have to do this. This is my last turn anyway. Uh, I guess no, I could heal. I could heal the frostbite. Man. Okay, so if I he's at five he's at four. If I use this, it takes him to two. So there's no point in doing that. So he would deal two damage and go to four health. Man, I I am just, it's, it's just, the regenerate is so tough, dude. And plus he's going to regenerate just from doing that attack. My rolls are just garbage, garbaggio. If I do this. He doesn't heal at all. He's at five. But then I'm just... Yeah, okay. Let's just use this. We'll use this. Okay. So, minus three. He's not dealing anything. He's down to one. And that's it. So, he's not dealing anything. Any damage. We use this. Uh, but we do take two frostbite. We're down to one. Okay. Okay, we're at six. Yeah, I mean, that's just, that's two damage. Uh, we're actually at, because we did that last turn. So we're actually at eight. And I could, so that's three damage. Yeah, and then I, I mean, I could use this to deal a damage from my ornate shield. I could deal four damage to him. We're one short. We're one short. Classic Andrew Dice Rolls. I know. We're one short, dude. We are one short. I don't see how I survive. I mean, the only way, the only way we survive is if 
Yeah, I mean, okay, so this is the this is the only way we can do it. So I think I think we have to accept two damage, taking him to seven. Okay. Yeah, we have to accept this. Now we're going to use this. We're going to use one, six, seven, eight. Use it to go to nine. That's three damage. Go into eight, six, seven, eight. And then that would give us one on our die of hope. All right. And that's where we have to we have to stay here. So my thinking is if he gets a high number, which is like the only way we could do this. If he gets a high draw, that gives us one on the die hope we can use our guidance to Oh, I don't think we can do that then. Any time effect. So it is an any time effect, so we could do this. If he gets a high roll, we could get two on the die of hope, and then we... Could heal two. All right, let's just do it. Let's just go. So he's going to heal one. He's at seven. It is a ten. It is a ten. It's a ten. We got one. We got one. Um, okay, this could get interesting. Uh, wind elemental, this flips. He's at five. He's at five. He's at five. Can we do this? Can we do this? He's at five. He's at four because of our guidance. Oh, shit. Okay, so I have to do this. Oh, man. Dude, I need to get... <laughs> so if I take him down, he's at four. He'd be at two. Two still puts him at two damage, and he heals one. The healing is the most annoying part. But, I mean, either way, I have to do this, right? So I'm going to spend that to heal. All right, which I have to. Um, heal two. So I can't heal my regular healing. I have to go up on Frostbite, which is what I need to do anyway. So we're using the ornate shield. He's getting minus three to this. So he's at two. That's going to do a two damage. Go into one. And he's going to heal one. He's at six. I need to do four damage to him. And afterwards, he's going to do two frostbite. All right, this is it. This is it. And we still got one more round. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I was about to discard the... the Regenerate. See, we would have killed him if he wouldn't have had to regenerate. Okay. All right. So we're getting minus two to this roll. This set, we gotta go. We gotta go big. This has to be the biggest roll. All right. It's five and a four. It's nine. The five is gonna flip, and we're at six. Minus two, we're at four. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess even if it if it was, yeah, I don't think we could have done anything there. Okay. Well, dudes, what it is. So we are. We're at four, four to eight, 
does two damage. And we get a plus two on our next roll. Yep. Tough, man. Just just very tough with the regenerate. Just crazy. We got that both nights. I know it's like, you know, I think there's only three different types of the gold cards. But man, it's just like, couldn't we have just gotten all the regenerates in like the level one monsters? Man, dude, or my roll's been better. Two. Okay, he's just, every time. Every time we're like so close to defeating them, but they are definitely going to win. Then they start drawing these shit, uh, these shit cards. All right, one. It's going to flip. It's going to turn out to be better. Oh, no, it's not. It's too, uh, oh, no, he doesn't do anything. Interesting. But we're still going to die from his frostbite because guidance is going to do minus one. So he's only dealing, uh, he's only at one. So he doesn't do any attack. Wow. Wow. Right in my face. <laughs> right in my face. We're not doing regular attack, but frostbite. Uh, now you're dead. Man, dude, I just. <laughs> All right, let's start back at the uh... tough, tough, man. Okay, and let's do let's spend one. Actually, while we're here, we're going to spend one to buy a potion. We got to have some stuff to start with anyway. Uh, gold card. We get three gar. Just, just brutal. Just hit 12 to danger zone time. Danger zone. Okay, let's spend our last one. To go here, and then we will warp right to here. Okay. And that'll be our turn. Okay. Let's go into round nine. Nothing is spawning. Let's refresh our stuff. We got our guard tokens. We got a healing potion. And we're just going to jump right back into the uh, right back into the fray. I was thinking maybe we should fight somebody else instead of being on that wind elemental, but there's no way we can, unless we go around here, but what are the chances that it's going to be a, uh, you know, something else we'll have to deal combat with. So before we can even reach there. So with that being said, we're just going to try to go back to the, the guy with the wind elemental. <laughs> Cause we don't have anything we can discard for, the griffin. Yeah, man. Uh, it's rough, but it is what it is. Okay. Let's spend one to go over to here. Let's try to take him out. <laughs> last, last one. Last round. Here we go. Okay. Ice abominations coming in. Three silver. That's going to turn into a gold. Ooh, it's going to be brutal. Started around, they got one too. Uh, two chaos and a gar. All right, here we go. And we can't use the monster hunter right now either, which really sucks. All right, let's do it. Boom. Okay, this is... Uh, Starting off pretty good because it's going to be seven. This is going to flip. So now it's two. They are using a lot, though. So they're going to use this. Reroll. It's a six, of course. And we're going to use this. Dude. Dude. Give me a break. <laughs> Give me a break, dude. Oh, man. I 
I need to start. I'm going to start drinking again. <laughs> For Uthia playthroughs from now on, it's alcohol. <laughs> it's alcohol, dude. Okay. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Dude, my luck with these last two Uthia playthroughs has been atrocious, dude. Okay. Um, all right. Well, the good thing is, the good thing is, yeah, but this time only, it's only like whenever you do the double or, you know, if you draw a certain amount of cards, it only takes effect one time for this current round. But these regenerates have an ongoing thing of the top portion. So now we, so after they reveal this, we only have two cards. So this isn't going to benefit them. This is just going to be an immediate healing of three. So that's, that's void. It's the ongoing effect. The regenerate sticks around. So, man, just, okay. So they got six, they got eight. That's going to put them at three damage. They got six plus, so that's going to put them at plus one. And we got rid of that other thing too. Okay. So they're eight. Like I said, that puts them at three. Six plus, that puts them at four damage. Uh, sorry, they're at eight. They're at seven. Yeah, let's do this. We're going to use the shield. That's going to be a minus three. So they're at five. So that's going to be two damage. This isn't going to take effect either. Two damage. They're going to heal one, but they're already at max health. So we're only taking two damage. All right. Can get rid of one of these. All in all, that wasn't terrible. It's the ongoing healing that is the biggest problem. We only took two damage from that whole thing. That was pretty good. Good news is they're out of cards. They're out of cards. They're out of gar tokens. We just need to have we just need to have good rolls, man. That's all we need. Uh, they do two frostbite. We do since we use the shield, we do get a minus two to our roll. Let's get these out of the way. We don't need these anymore. Three and a four. Four is going to swap for a three. Okay, so we're at six. We're at four. That still puts us at two damage. We are going to use this to get one to our die of hope. Yeah, okay. So two damage, two damage. This is going to be just a slow, painful death again. Okay. Two damage, regenerate, heals one. 11. This will flip. So he's at six, five. Yeah, if I do a minus two, yeah, he's at three. So he's still doing that. So, okay. So he's doing two damage. And he's healing for one. Because if his two to five, he heals. Oh, this regenerate is just so brutal. Okay. We are, and then we take two here. Uh, let's use the healing potion, I guess, to go up one, two. <laughs> let's roll. We do get a plus two to this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, dude. I can't. I can't anymore. I I can't anymore, dude. I can't anymore. I can't anymore. It's two ones. I can't. I I really can't. It doesn't change either because it's the same number. 
If it was, if I even had a different number, the one would have flipped to a six. Oh no, I'm sorry. It wouldn't have flipped. The highest of roll flips, but either way. Okay, well, we have to use, if we're going up to three, we have to use a guard token. Yeah. Okay, so we have five, six, seven. We are at seven. That puts us at two damage. Oh, we did do the... Yeah, we did this last time. We did the four to eight. So we do get a plus two to our roll as well. So we are at nine. We are at nine. Okay, we are at nine. Okay, okay. Yeah, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we're at nine. We are going to use two... To heal to one, two, and we're gonna stay right there. We're gonna stay right there. We're staying right there. Uh, so we're at nine. That's gonna be three damage, and we get plus one to the die folk. I know. It's, uh, I know. It must have shifted to yellow. I guess. I guess. <laughs> I guess. Uh, he's going to heal one. Going to two. He got five. This is going to flip. So he's at four. He's at three. We're going to use the shield. He is at one. He's at one. He's not doing anything. We take two frostbite. Okay. All right. We need like 10 more of those. All right. Let's go. Let's roll. Okay. We got eight. Five flips to two. So we're at five. We didn't do the four to eight next time, last time, so we don't get uh, plus on that. But we did use the shield, so we get a minus two. We're at three. Oh, man. We're at three. We need to use this. Okay, it's a six. Okay, so we're at nine, ten, eleven. We're at nine. That puts us at three more damage. Okay. Uh, let's do that. Let's spend two to heal two from this, our guidance. Uh, we are at, like I said, we're at nine. We're going to accept this roll. Uh, that's going to deal three damage. Going to five, we get a plus one to our die of hope. All right, eight. This flips. He's at five. He's at four. Taking it down by two is not going to change anything, so he's going to deal two damage. And he's going to heal one. We're going to take two frostbite. We got nine. Three. The six is going to flip. We're at four.
I guess we're just going to do the two damage. We're at four. Two damage to six. That's going to give us a plus two to our next roll. He got eight. This is going to flip. He's at three. He's at two. We're going to use the shield. So he's getting a minus three. So he's at zero. He's not doing anything. We're getting hit for two. The frostbite is also just brutal. Frostbite is brutal, man. We're at four. Three flips. We do go up here to two, three flips to a four. Uh, so we're at five, minus two, we're at three. We got plus two because of the scepter. Because we did four to eight, so we get a, so they cancel each other out. So we're at five. We're at five. We're at five. I think we're going to take it. We're going to accept this. We're at five. Let's do two damage. Um, that's also going to be a plus two to our roll next round. We're going to save this just in case. We're probably going to use that for healing. Which let's just go ahead and do right now. Use this to heal two. It's going to be frostbite. He's going to heal one. Eleven takes us up. Six is going to flip to a one. So he's at six. Minus one. Oh, I'm thinking about just accepting the the three damage. Six minus well, I guess it's I guess this is constantly ongoing. Okay, so six. He's at five. Yeah, okay. Two damage. Ugh. Do I want to use a gar token to reroll that five? I think so. I want to prevent him from dealing any amount of damage. If he gets a six, if I reroll that and he gets a six... Maybe it's six, maybe it's seven, six, four, minus two, that's two. So anything but a six, I'll take that chance. I don't want him to heal, and I don't want to take any of that damage. I'll use it. Okay, so that's nothing. And I don't have to use the shield, which is nice. So he's not dealing any damage, and he's not healing. Uh, but we are taking two Frostbite. Three and a five. Five flips, two of two. So we're at five. We did not use the shield, so we're not subtracting. <clears throat> and we did use the Holy Scepter, the 4 to 8 last time. So we get a plus 2 to this. So we're at 7. Let's deal in 2 damage. Seven. If 
four is flipping. He's at six. He's at five. That's two damage and he heals. Oh, wait a second. Oh, shit. He was at... Oh, 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 wait a second. I think he's dead. Yeah, he's at nine. He's at nine. I would just spend from the ornate shield. I would just spend one. Can that be used anytime? Sorry, I just have to check this. If that can be used anytime, then I... Oh, I'm getting lost. Did he... Did I remove one from for the regenerate? I think I did. Sorry, I just have to check one thing. I'm starting to get lost. It's getting late. Been a lot of shit happening. Uh, let's see. Where is the shield? Where are you? Immediately after the shield is used. Okay. So I cannot use it right now. Okay. All right. So he's at six. I think I already removed that. So he's at six. He's at five. He's at five. So we're going to keep that, right? So we're going to get hit with two damage. I guess that right after the shield is used. So maybe I should actually use that. That'll take him. That'll cancel. Yeah, okay. Let's do, let's do that. So we will use the shield. So it's going to be minus three from this. So he's actually at three. He's at three. That still does two damage. Going to three. He heals one. And immediately after using... We did have one. We did have one on here. Immediately after using the shield, you can pay one to deal one damage. That's what we have on our shield. So he's at eight. Uh, and we take two frostbite going to one. God, I hope this... I hope I didn't miss a step. <laughs> I hope I didn't miss a step. All right. Let's do it. I just have to avoid... I'm not even going to say anything. Okay, and I think even with this flip, what's the, okay, what, we did get one, it's five, four, I think it's a three, yep. So we're at four, uh-oh, minus two. We did do the plus two last time. We did do the, uh, the four to eight last time. So those cancel each other out. So we are at four. That is going to be uh, two. Plus, we'll just hit him a little bit more. Uh, we'll spend this to add plus one to that. So we're at five. <laughs> we're at five. Uh, so we hit him for two. And that is him defeated. <laughs> that is him defeated. <laughs> and we would have had a, We would have to do that again, believe it or not. So we would need to defeat two of these guys in order to... Uh, all right, uh, all right, crew, I'm out for the night. Andrew, make me proud. Good night, everyone. Stay legendary. Freddie, thank you so much. Appreciate that, brother. Uh, you, you might think this is a crazy idea, but you have, have you considered rolling better? I thought about it, Matt, but at the end of the day, I'm like, nah, I'm good. Yeah, we defeated the uh, ice abomination. So we would get three rep. Uh, that would be the end of the round. So I don't know where the hell this token was. I think it was on 12. One, two, three. We'd be at 15. We would get an ice crystal. We would get a gold card. Part of me is like with the solo mode, getting these gold cards, you know, obviously it's not that great. You can uh, 
exchange them for a gold coin, but man, it's giving them all the cards as well. Not too great. And there also is this new die symbol on here. You can see, and this just says there is a gem die. You roll this to determine what you get. So we would get that. I forget the name of this one. We get that there. Uh, we would get three coins. I don't know why I'm still going through the motions, but so we get that. And we would also get what's on that tile. We can slot this guy in and we place one of our tokens on this. And we would need to do that one more time. And then we would win. Uh, but yes, very crazy that we got the regenerates. Man, what's the next one? Yeah, not a regenerate. What's the next one? No, there's another regenerate. Man, this, this game is trying to <laughs> it's trying to get me. And then they're they're pretty much there's one more. Oh, <laughs> take out the regenerates. I think I'm gonna do the next game. Just take out the regenerates. But yeah, man. So that would be. I mean, we still had this token, but uh, we we're not gonna be able to do anything else. So that is that's the game. Unfortunately, we weren't able to defeat two, but yeah, the regenerates are just insane, man. It is crazy. I mean, we could have, without both of those regenerates, I think we would have been able to take out two. But very hard, and especially because if you can reduce his attack down enough from uh, and then going from range two to five, his uh, that lowest attack is healing one as well. Just crazy stuff. In the expansion, it even says in the that other solo mode, that when they heal, they can even go past their max. They can keep gaining health past their max. Wild stuff. Um, yeah, man. Still always a good time. I do love it even when it, it, it just kicks me in the teeth nonstop. But you can see just with better dice rolls and without the regenerate, you know, the game would have been completely different. We did a lot better than we did on the first game. The first playthrough, we defeated, I think we were on quest, like the second card on round four or five. That was so much better than what, you know, the previous game, because I think in the previous game, we were like, just uncovered this, the second card on like, I want to say round seven, something wild like that. So I felt really good about it. We got a lot of cool abilities that we were able to use. So I felt good about that. We were, you know, this monster hunter is very cool. We were slotting in these guys. We were using them to do this ability. I really like Arlen's stuff, manipulating the die of hope. This is the most I've ever used this die. Um, and nothing against this die. This, this thing was coming in clutch. It was just these dice. Just absolutely horrible. Um, but uh, very cool. I do think this... Uh, scenario is fun as well i do like this it's not too much of a challenge as far as like what to do like the requirements i mean i say that but defeating two of these guys is pretty tough man i don't know again i've, I've said this before i don't know if this is just a me problem or what but i have so much trouble taking out these guys Take away the regenerates, you know, it might have been a different story. I think we could have done it. But, man, I just feel like, and, and Arlen has some cool stuff that he can, you know, add some, you know, values to your roles to really help out. If we didn't have that, we might not even have done, like, any damage to these guys. Because, now, luckily, we got this this scepter, so the lowest we could have rolled is four, and we still were doing two damage. Very cool. And while we did that, we added two to the next roll. Without that, if we were just doing like got some three rolls, and you can see some of my rolls actually were like three or under, we would have been doing zero damage if we didn't have this plus two to it. So, man, like Arlen specifically... I think he can help out with your bad rolls, but there's still only so much that he can do uh, to compensate. At the end of the day, if you are just rolling bad, you are not doing much damage. But again, I don't know if it's like a me problem because we, we got a lot of their abilities. 
We didn't get much as far as gear, but I've always had this issue of trying to balance the skills, you know, versus what we want to do as far as completing the objective, you know, trying to do the free actions to get the elementals, essences, to then spending stuff to get, uh, you know, some of these other items and stuff like that. I just feel like I never have enough health and items. It's either like, or like skills. It's either like I'm getting some uh, items that are getting my health up, but then I'm avoiding the skills. So I'm always trying to find this, this balance. So I tried to change it up a little bit. I would have loved to do more mining to get some more of those natural resources, to sell those, to then trade those in, get a lot more money. Uh, but it just didn't work out that way. Now, we did have a really good turn with the Ice Clan. That really worked out. We had a lot of uh, crystals. That was really cool. I did like that a lot. Um, and I do really like that Ice Clan element of, hey, it's a one-time thing, but you can use actions from both the merchants and the alchemists. I think that's a really cool thing, even if it is just a one-time bonus. I think that's I think that's awesome. Uh, but yeah, I do like this scenario. I like Arlen a lot. I think he is a lot of fun. Uh, but I like both of the new characters. Uh, Zephyrity was pretty cool with the charge up abilities. Uh, I would have loved to have used that a little bit more. Maybe found something else like another vial to hold more charges. And then maybe another skill or two to actually like really use more of those charges to do extra attacks and stuff. But uh, it's just how the games go sometimes. But Kept zeroing, yes, and those, that was really cool. Kept zeroing, zeroing his attacks. That was very cool. The guidance has always taken effect. Minus one to that, and then the shield, you can use it all, every time. It does not exhaust, and minus two to it. So, yeah, he was getting some bad rolls. That wind elemental did help out, changing some of his high roll, uh, you know, high dice to low. So that kept him around like the five, six range. And then when we are able to use these, yeah, getting him down to doing zero damage, very cool. Now, he, that was normal damage, but the ice guys are still doing that frostbite. The game does say even if they do zero damage, regular damage, their frostbite thing still takes effect. So these guys are a little bit more brutal than it just lets on because you can see 10 health. Oh, and he's dealing this. Okay, two damage. He's going to regenerate one. Not the biggest thing. Uh, if he does 10 plus, he does four damage plus he gets another uh, chaos token. But he's going to come on with this bonus, which can be pretty dirty. Uh, they could draw that earth elemental. So only they're taking effect from that. So they're getting plus two to their roll for the whole combat or something else uh, dirty. But plus they're always dealing that plus two damage. And the frostbite acts just like regular health. If that goes to zero, you die. So it's like, yeah, you're avoiding the regular damage, but you're still taking the frostbite damage every single turn. And when you heal, you have to pick and choose. It's not like you heal two, you heal up two regular damage and two frostbite. You have to pick and choose. So that frostbite damage can really be dirty. You know, you really got to pay attention to that and your healing stuff becomes a lot more important because now you have to pick and choose which one you want to, you know, distribute it to. And you can't heal regular health past your frostbite. So it's like even if you're, you know, uh, your frostbite is fine, you've been managing that somehow, you know, okay. Or I guess it's it's low. I'm, I'm struggling with what I'm trying to say, but you you got to pick and choose and that can be that can be pretty hard to uh to decide sometimes part of me wishes it was like if you heal two you can just do two on both tracks i think that would be a lot easier but still you got to manage because even though you're avoiding the regular damage you're still taking two on the frostbite so you're still are going to have to be finding ways to heal so i don't know Is there like a plus two sweater? <laughs> um, are there items to defend frostbite? That's a great question. I don't know. Um, that would be... I would really like that because these are specifically used when you are playing with the um, Ice Claws expansion. But we have stuff like Glacier Greaves, but it doesn't say anything about Frostbite. I really like that 
uh, idea, though, that maybe they should have something to prevent against frostbite. I think that would really help. You know, just reduce frostbite damage by one. Something like that. I don't see anything. But there definitely should be something in here that does that. That would be really thematic. That would be really thematic. I would love to see something like that. I might reach out to him. I might say something about that. I don't think any of the new... Yeah, I don't see anything here. And I don't think any of the new uh, gems... I don't think they do that either. That's a... That's a... Yeah, because we have fluorite. Fluorite is uh, re-rolls to your dice. We have the... Uh, I'm forgetting the name of it. Uh, but this just gives you one reputation. So that is very nice. Uh, I think this is Topaz. No, this isn't Topaz. I'm forgetting the names of them. But this uh, subtracts one from their result. The monster roll. And then you also have the Sphene which adds one to the die of hope. So those are the new gems. And then you have the crystals. So nothing to reduce the frostbite damage, but I would love to see that. That would feel really thematic. I think that would be really cool. You know, and it might be just something like, like I said, you have to use these tiles if you play with the ice claws mode. So there should definitely be something in there. There doesn't have to be that much, but something here or there to just say, hey, reduce frostbite by one. I think that would that would be huge. That would be really cool. Because you're getting it from a few different ways. You're getting it from the ice minions, but plus you're also getting it from when you resolve this track, this chill track. And you're getting it when you enter ice storms. So there's a lot of ways you can get frostbite damage, but you only have to use healing to remove that. Yeah, that would be really cool. I might say something to him. Just so you know, something, throw it out there. Some kind of frostbite protection. Yeah, I agree. I agree. That, that would feel really thematic. That would be a lot of fun, you know, to, to scope something like that out and just be like, oh, dude, I've been like finding I'm dying from frostbite a lot. This uh, right here, you know, maybe it's expensive. Maybe it's eight or something like that, but it gives me minus one to frostbite damage, you know, and then plus two, because the thing is, sure, you could say from rounds one to seven, you're only going to take one frostbite damage when you enter ice storms. So that means from rounds one to seven, that gear, if it does minus one frostbite, it negates all of that. But right when you hit round eight, so it's not that uh, it's not that late into the game. Once you hit round eight, you're taking three frostbite. So minus one frostbite, you're still taking two. That's still a lot. And like we already discussed, you know, I guess that shuts down the ice spiders. So it is strong, but it's not like it's overpowered. Just make it expensive or something. You know, I don't know. Uh, miss large parts of the stream being sidetracked with other news. Uh, no worries, brother. No worries, man. Uh, yeah, so I guess we'll call it. Uh, I still I still do really like this scenario. It's cool that we also had the uh, the Griffin show up. So yeah, that is the, uh, the stream. That's Arlen. Uh, unfortunately, we were one ice abomination short of completing it but i feel like if we played it again we'd get a little bit closer but i don't think we're going to play this uh for some time on the sh on the channel i think i'm going to try to play this one more time off camera then maybe give some initial impressions something like that uh, and then next few streams i'm thinking we're going to get some conan back with some camel action uh barman gotham city chronicles and then uh, Bones, I got to get Bones back to the channel. So a lot of good stuff coming up. I don't think we're going to, I'm not going to stream tomorrow. So I'm going to have some streams going next week. So if you guys see anything during the stream that I was doing wrong, just let me know in the comments. I do appreciate you guys stopping by and watching. I'm just going to hop off here and go to sleep. So guys, I really appreciate you spending your uh, Thursday night with me. Thank you so much. It was a blast. And uh, I will catch you on the next corner. That's right, baby. That's right. So uh, I will see you guys on the next stream. Have a good rest of your night. Have a good weekend. And uh, I will see you on the next one. All right, guys. Peace out.